Hello, dear viewers. It is I, your wizardy companion, Mr. Wizard, returned in the flesh, so to speak. Yes, I have been away on a deep slumber. You see, us wizards, we like to hibernate. And, um, well, I'm not exactly the youngest wizard of the century, but uh, I have returned. And in today's video, we will be going into the depths of your soul to see where your true beauty lies. Yes. Ahem. Now, some of you may have clicked on this video looking for physical beauty features. I do wish to give you a warning. This is about the beauty of your soul and what makes you beautiful to the eye of the beholder on a spiritual soul level. Ahem. Pardon my voice, it's a little hoarse from all the slumber. Anywho, without further ado, let us dive in. Hey guys, it's Milka and welcome back to my channel, Nateyom. It's been a minute, <laughs> and by minute I mean multiple um, uh, months. It's been months. <laughs> uh, but I'm back today and I wanted to do a little bit of a lighter hearted reading for you all. And um, yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be looking into what makes uh, what is the beau- the- oh, how do I phrase this? <laughs> the- the true nature of your beauty. What makes the beauty of your soul and how people see it. Like, what is the beauty that people perceive from your soul? Gosh, was that a run-on sentence? I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> uh, but yes. And as always, we have four groups to choose from. But before we get into the group selections, I did want to do my little- shameless self plug okay and i wanted to let you guys know that i do do custom readings um as well as make custom crystal bracelets uh this one is these are kind of old and this one i made a little too big but yes custom uh, it was only for me you know it was a tester um but if you did want to see examples of some of the other types of bracelets that i've made before uh you can check out on my website there's a link in the oh I can speak oh my goodness there's a link to my website in the description box below and there's a page on my website called crystal bracelets or something like that or bracelets <laughs> and um, there are just a couple of photos of bracelets that I've made for clients in the past um, but yes I tune them with Reiki and we set the intention of what it is that you guys are looking to attract or manifest or what it is that you're trying to heal you know and everything is made completely custom um, I also do custom affirmation songs, uh, which I will include a little snippet of the last one that I posted on YouTube here. I am enough. I am enough. I am enough. I am, I am enough. I let go of my past. I am ready to move on. And now And if you guys are interested in any of those services or have any questions in regards to them, you can either reach out to me on the contacts page on my website or through my email. Also, uh, I do have two other channels. So there's the music channel, which, you know, one day there will be more videos on it. <laughs> and I started kind of a sort of a vloggy channel, which recently it's just been focused on stationary, but um, it's kind of like anything else that I've ever wanted to post on YouTube will probably be going on that channel. So if you guys want to tune in, that one is called Life of a Milka and the links to both of those channels are going to be in the description box below. And last but not least, for those of you who are interested in um, uh, fountain pens, or uh, tarot and oracle cards. I do have quite a bit of tarot and oracle decks that 
I am trying to give new homes to. Uh, they just, you know, either they were gifted to me and they didn't resonate with me, or I just don't feel as drawn to go towards them or use them in videos so much, uh, because I really get the fancy schmancy stuff for you guys. You know, for myself, I kind of most of the time use the standard uh, same tarot and oracle decks, you know, so the ones that I get, I just, I feel like they would be a beautiful add-on to the channel. So these, I just don't resonate with them as much, you know, so I'm hoping that they can get a home where they are resonant with, and I'll be listing those on eBay, and I'll include the link on eBay. So I would recommend if you are interested in any of those, or there may be a couple of fountain pens that I, uh, would be willing or wanting to sell from my collection, um, you can periodically check it as I'm going to start working on uploading new listings uh, whenever I get the chance. So that's going to be in the description box below as well for anyone who's interested. Oh, also for anyone who is in the market for fine china, um, I have some vintage porcelain that I'm also looking to rehome. Uh, so that will also be on that eBay page for those of you who are interested. So like I said, it's not all up there right now. I would recommend checking in periodically because I'm going to be posting things little by little because it's a lot. <laughs> uh, but yes, now let's get into the group selections. Okay, you guys. So with the group selections, we have four Twisby Eco fountain pens uh, and also their ink companions, which is what they're currently inked with. And I'm going to be showing you what the ink looks like after I show you the pens. So if you wanted to choose by the pen or by what the ink looks like, that'll be up to you. But let's start with the first pen. This is the Twisby Eco, um, I think the color is pronounced cerulean or something like that. It's very lovely blue. And it's got Waringal uh, Anki ink, which is a glitter ink. And you can kind of see the glitter a little coming through there. So that's group one. And I'll show you the ink, what it looks like at the end, okay? Uh, group two is going to be the Twisby Eco Jade. Uh, and this one has uh, Vinta Inks, Serena, um, something mermaid <laughs> uh, in it as well. This is actually also a glitter, but since I had a sample of it, the glitter particles were not really in that sample. I didn't get much of the glitter, so you won't be able to see the glitter when I show you the ink selection, but just know that that one did have some glitter in it. Um, group number three is going to be the Twisby Eco Lilac, another glitter ink <laughs> uh, in it, and that is going to be the Dominant Industries Sunset. It's a part of their Pearl series for those of you who are familiar with fountain pens or fountain pen inks, but yes, this is going to be group number three. And then group number four is going to be the Twisby Eco Vanilla and, no, not vanilla. It makes me think of vanilla, but the Twisby Eco uh, Creme and Rose Gold or Creme and Rose Gold. <laughs> uh, so that is this one. And this one is filled with Ferris Wheel Press Buttered Popcorn. And you guys, I swear, I don't know if this is an actually scented ink or not. Um, I don't think that it's a scented ink, but anytime that I use this ink, I don't know if it's the color and like the association with the name, but I almost smell like a hint of actual movie theater popcorn. So it makes me hungry. And again, I don't know if that's just my mind being like, Milka, look at this color and the name. It is real buttered popcorn. So <laughs> yes, okay. Uh, each group is also going to be getting a little note that I channel through with the pens of your group, which I'll read to you at the end or at the beginning of your group. Once you get to your group, obviously you guys can have more than one group as well. And let me get the ink um, swatches, swatches to show you. So this is going to be the ink for group one right here. Look at this beautiful blue. The glitter is not coming through in this, but you know, hold on, hold on. I'm just going to cover your message, but show you the glitter here. You can kind of see it and it's very beautiful and it comes through in the writing. So I just want you guys to know. Yes, it is a glitter ink. It just didn't come through here. It was a little bit dry here. So that is group one. 
group two. Oh, mermaid green. Okay, so it's Vinta Inks Sedena Mermaid Green. Uh, again, a glitter ink, which you can't see the glitter. <laughs> then group three, the Dominant Industries Pearl Series Sunset. And this one, you can see the glitter. Kind of. There you go. Can you see it here? No. Okay. And then this one is the Ferris Wheel Press Buttered Popcorn. Okay. It makes me think of the color of movie theater uh, butter, movie theater butter. But yeah, so those are the inks. These are the pens. And I'll give you guys a moment to choose your group. This is your group if you chose the Twisby Eco Cerulean inked with the Wearing Girls Anki ink. I think that's how it's pronounced. It could be Enki or however else, but I pronounce it Anki. Uh, it's E-N-K-I, but again, it's a Sumerian god, by the way, in case you guys are wondering what that name is. He is the Sumerian god of water, creativity, wisdom, and... Um, some other stuff so creation i think um so if you guys are interested in that you can just type in you know anki and or enki whatever e-n-k-i and see what comes up but before we begin let me ring the singing bowl for you <clears throat> and i do have your cards here okay um and your little message so let's start with your message and then i'll show you the the true beauty of the ink that you have chosen uh, because i really love this ink okay you are beautiful you have always been beautiful and you will always be beautiful look in the mirror and see what i see okay now let's angle this so you can truly see the glitter you see it kind of glistening hold on let me adjust let me adjust the lighting. You can kind of see it in the top portion. Oh, you see it in the letter U? I mean, why? Now, it doesn't come through on camera so much, but the way that you saw it in the letter Y, I wanted to say you again is how all of the text looks, okay? And this ink, it literally makes me think of um, like a lake, a frozen lake, right? That is slightly being thawed on the top layer by the sun and the way that the sunlight reflects on that slightly thawed frozen lake. That is literally what this ink makes me think of. <coughs> uh, give me a moment, guys. But now let's get into your cards. All right. Okay. So your first card is going to be the Hanged Man. And we're going to have to probably move this to be like this or something. Okay. So the Hanged Man. The Three of... Um, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I was going to say the three of worlds, the two of wands, <laughs> the moon. Uh, speaking of worlds, the world, the empress, strength, the three of wands. Mm, let's put you here. Can you see that? You can. Okay. The Ace of Swords, the Ten of Cups, huh, okay, <laughs> I'll shift these over a little, uh, Coral, the Rabbit, look how cute this rabbit is, very cute, very cosmic, and then we have True Beauty is All Around Me. This affirmation reconnects you to the earth when you feel, oh, 
<laughs> when you feel yourself caught in a cycle of self-doubt or spiraling thoughts, it can be helpful to tune into nature to remind yourself of the abundance of the world around you. The beauty of nature and the ground beneath your feet remind you that you're part of something bigger, offering perspective and a sense of calm. Find a place to sit where you can see a plant, the sky, or some other element of nature and repeat this phrase at least three times. True beauty is all around me. Okay, so that's one. And the other one is I will open my heart. In this practice, you'll say a series of affirmations designed to open your heart and mind to giving and receiving love. Sit or stand in front of a mirror and read the following in a confident voice. I am willing and able to receive love. I have love to give. I am beautiful on the inside and out. I will appreciate those who love me. I won't give up on my pursuit of happiness. I will open my heart. When you finished reading, hold your own gaze in the mirror for at least one minute. Okay, guys. So the reason I took so long to read those affirmations was because in case you wanted to say them out loud along with you. But to be honest, um, so first off, this deck has more than just affirmation cards. It's just you guys so happen to get two affirmation cards. Um, and it, one of these is an extra card. And I will say, I will open my heart. If you are going to use this affirmation, I personally would recommend rewriting it to I am opening my heart or my heart is open because will when it comes to trying to manifest when you say I will it is uh, speaking in future tense and the whole point of like law of attraction and manifesting is speaking of it as if it already exists so that you create it into reality in the present in the moment now because will and when you're talking about it in the future um there's no actual set time to meet like there's no actual deadline it's just sometime in the future so i am opening my heart or even better yet my heart is open i am an open heart you know something along those lines but yes okay all right, guys, give me a moment to see what I see. I feel like I say that in every single group and every single reading. And um, <laughs> I wanted to not say it, but it felt wrong. It felt like I was not doing something that is part of these videos, which is why I finished that sentence. Okay. All right, you guys, so it's interesting that you guys chose this blue and uh, something that is a reflective, like remember I told you this ink, it makes me think of like a reflective uh, surf, like, uh, like a frozen lake, right? Which is kind of reflective in a sense, right? So you can, you can see yourself in water, you can see a reflection. In the mirror, you can see yourself in the mirror. So I feel like one, and then you also have the moon with water energy here too. And then you've got coral. There is a little bit of water energy coming through. You guys are diverse. It's not just water. But um, it feels very prominent. And I feel like you guys, what is so uh, beautiful about your soul, and I think something that people really admire about you that adds to the true nature, um, like the true nature of, what makes you beautiful right because the true nature of what makes us beautiful people perceive beauty as just a physical thing but uh words can be beautiful you know beauty is something that you find in the world around you so i feel like it's interesting right that's the card you got here too true beauty is all around me it's not just um a physical appearance beauty is a sensation it's also the reason why people say that when somebody is more confident about how they look even if they don't look any different from the day before they will be perceived as more attractive right beauty is a vibration it is an energy just like we were talking about the law of attraction here right it is also it's a vibrational thing and reflection a reflection is something that happens on a spiritual um 
there's kind of like a it's like a spiritual vibrational thing i think when you can be perceived as a, a mirror of sorts and i feel like something that you guys have gotten really good at which is so incredible is being able to say this is who and i think honestly to be honest honestly to be honest this is something you guys were always good at uh, i think people may have tried to project themselves onto you so something that people think is beautiful about you is that they can they can really relate to you or they feel like you can understand or relate to them right and it's adding because of this it's because of these reflective things that we're talking about here that people feel like they can see themselves within you and it makes them feel seen now this could have been a very difficult thing uh, as somebody who was growing up to experience because now you're dealt the card of um, being the mirror or the reflection of the other person in their eyes, which means that they feel like they're being seen, but on the contrary, you are not genuinely being seen. You're not being seen as a mirror, you're being seen as their reflection. You know, so they're not looking at the bigger picture. The bigger picture would be like, oh, this is not my reflection. My reflection is seen in this mirror, but this is a mirror, right? Um, so yes, and I think it takes a very special skill to be perceived as like a mirror. I feel like you guys have a very cosmic soul. So just like I said, there's something like cosmic about this rabbit, this world card, um, which it wasn't even the fact that it's a world card. It's, it's the whale. The whale is kind of giving me cosmic vibes. Um, so I do feel like one of the beauties that is part of your soul's beauty, um, it is this cosmic element. It is like there is an ethereal nature to you that feels gentle and nurturing. And because it is gentle and nurturing, it gives room for it. It adds, again, it's like that watery element. So there is there is an, a, an emotional understanding to you. Uh, like you guys could have a good emotional IQ, right? Um, there, you have good, like you are also a very self-reflecting person, which is why I was saying like you guys know that whenever somebody is projecting onto you you can tell like this person is projecting onto me just because we act similarly does not mean we are the same and it does not mean we are the same type of person right you know that um and <laughs> like i said it could have been frustrating for you in the past but the fact that you guys um make people feel so seen and understood and again i think it's like there is something cosmic about you so on some le and there is like this empath or like emotional intelligence um which is what makes people feel like like it, it's like you have experienced almost every kind of emotion because of uh, through empathy or, or something along those lines or through actual experience you have on some level even if it was just once experienced a certain type of emotion or you're able to recall that emotion from a previous life and how strongly it affected you which is why people see that you have felt that emotion even if it was one time for you or like a brief moment for you or it was like you were it was just passing through you right like not even your own emotion people see that and that's why they get this like reflective thing they're like this person gets me and that is a true gift and it is one of the things that makes you so beautiful your soul is so compassionate and it really holds the space for people and it may if people are uh, brave enough your soul helps these people to see the truth about themselves about their patterns about their nature right there's something about your energy that it it makes me again it makes me think of this whale it's like there is a peacefulness or there is it's like a calm there's something that's like a calm about your energy that um I'm just putting my words together you guys it's been a while since I've since I've done a video so <sighs> yeah there's something very uh like calming about your presence and it's not even that it puts people to sleep or anything like that. It's not that kind of comic. It's just kind of like a, it makes people more grounded. It brings people to the present, 
right? And it's calming in that sense because anxiousness comes from from overthinking, right? Or like being too far in the in the in the future or being in the past. It's like being in the present. You um is the remedy to anxiousness, right? Because all you're doing is being an observer of the right now moment um, or what is directly in front of you. And you guys bring people into that state. Like even if you don't see that with those people, it's like if somebody saw that person in a room with you and then they saw that person outside of the room with you and like they know that person and then they, they see how this person acts when they're in a room with you you could be like this person's got a lot going on you know but their friends would be like oh my gosh you were so calm that day like you were doing really well you know like that's the kind of effect your energy has on people and i feel like people perceive you as such a grand persona because you have the gift of being able to do this oh my gosh you guys i don't know why but i just i just smelled and slightly tasted macaroni and cheese, okay? Like boxed macaroni and cheese. So, uh, you know, okay, I think I know why. Macaroni and cheese is traditionally considered a comfort food in, in the US, right? So I can't speak for the rest of the world, but in the US it is considered a comfort food. So, uh, and I think especially like boxed mac and cheese could be a childhood staple for a lot of people in the US, right? So that makes it even more cozy and comforting. Um, and I feel like you guys are that presence. You guys are that for people. And that is one of the things that is so beautiful about you. You help people feel like it is safe for them to be themselves. Not many people have the gift to be able to do that. And it is innate in your soul, right? It's kind of, and again, it's like you guys being a mirror. And it's not that, that you take on those things as yourself you know, or that you don't have any other value. We're going to get into that other, uh, that other stuff too. It's just, it's like you are a beautiful grand mirror that, that opens up to uh, reveal an act, like a storage of a jewelry box inside, you know, like there are mirrors like that, a mirror that, that is actually, that opens up and there's storage for jewelry. And you guys are that. You are, and it's not just some basic mirror. Like I'm talking about like this beautiful vintage mirror that you would see in like palaces or um, like higher class societies, homes in like the 1800s or, you know, something along those lines, or maybe even a little before 1700s. Like you were a classy mirror, okay? <laughs> a classy mirror with that secret treasure um, compartment. <laughs> and those treasures are your gifts, okay? And um, that is the chair creaking. <laughs> but those treasures are your gifts and those are part of your true nature too. That's why I'm saying don't like hear don't hear this message and think, "Oh, I'm just a mirror." You know, that that is not the only beautiful thing about you. It's like one of the bonuses. You're actually an incredible gift full of treasures. Um but one of your superpowers, and it's just so incredible because this comes from experience and the nature of your soul. And I feel like the galactic origins of your soul, um, like I'm seeing links to like Sirius as well, uh, the aquatic Sirius. So there are two Sirius, Sirius A and Sirius B, and I don't remember which one is the aquatic one. I think it could be Sirius B, it could be Sirius A, don't recall at the moment, but I'm seeing links to that. Um, yeah. Okay, let's see what else I'm getting here. Yeah, even here, right? It's like the hanged man. This is somebody who thinks, like, this is somebody who's very reflective. Um, so that's why I was saying, it's like, it's not just how you, uh, how people feel like you reflect them or how you actually reflect people back to them or their perception of it, but it's like also your mind. Like, that is just part of your nature. It's, it's seen in so many other things, and this is also the reason why you know who you are. And I think people who are more confident um, within themselves or who are more healed really admire. They see that you know who you are and they really admire that. And people who are striving for healing. Whereas more like regular people who are just okay with the way that they are and they're not really striving for emotional healing um, or they feel like they've peaked at that, you know, who are kind of a little bit more in the ego, they see you as a reflection of themselves. Um... Yes, let's see what else. And to both of those types of people, it's actually, unless the person who's seeing you as a reflection is getting triggered by it, which can happen, um, 
but for the most part it's like whenever they feel seen through you that is one of the things that makes you beautiful because that is such a rarity in the world that we live in now where we're exposed to so much um so much different stuff right and yes we can find our own community here and there but the internet is not necessarily a place that makes people most people feel seen right because you kind of disappear in the masses of the internet and even the local community doesn't necessarily help people feel seen if they're different from the community right so it takes a very special type of person or like a soul family, soul tribe kind of person to help somebody truly feel or somebody who like walks the path of like unconditional love, right? Um, you guys are very intuitive, but again, it just it feels like you guys are cl uh, clear cognizant. And that's the type of intuition where. Um, <coughs> oh, my goodness. That's the type of intuition where you just get uh, downloads, right? So um, you could just be speaking to somebody and information just comes through. The exact message they need to hear comes through. It's a download. And then they'll ask you to repeat it the next day and you could be like, um, I'm not sure. And sometimes it can be confusing because you're like, I'm pretty sure that I knew this is common knowledge, but now I don't recall it. So does that mean that that was ch like channeled information and it just felt so right that it felt like it was something that I've heard somewhere, but I didn't actually hear it somewhere, I guess. It gets a little like that. It can sometimes be a little muddy. Um, and I think that's another thing that people find incredibly beautiful about you is how uplifting and again, it's like there's this sense of nurturing because this calm brings about nurturing. It helps people come into the present, which makes them feel nurtured. Um, it's very, very beautiful. I feel like people see you as more of a feminine presence, regardless of your gender. And I think one of the things that is a thing for you guys to overcome or to be shown by the universe, right, by divine, that this is not the case but it's the mindset that um will i ever truly be able to find somebody who can really see the real me all of me not just the part of me that comes through when this person is around or when this situation is um present and all of this kind of stuff but somebody who could see all of the facets of me um or at least like 98 percent of the facets of me that I, that I would have wanted them to see. So I feel like that could be something that subconsciously comes up every once in a while. And that feels like something that could be just triggered based off of, you know, what we talked about, the whole reflection and mirror thing. Um, but yes, you guys are also very strong and people perceive you as that way because people see you as wise. Ah, the ink that you, like the ink in this pen, right? It's not just water when I was talking about the water. He's also the God of, the Sumerian God of wisdom and enlightenment. Okay, so people do see you as very wise because of the things that you're able to say to comfort them or to help them. It's almost like you guys give them a therapy session, but without it being a therapy session, it's like you can help them get right to the point. And because you guys have a good intuition, you get good hunches and you ask the right kinds of questions or um, like channel through the right kinds of advice to help them get uh, like an aha moment, right? Like a, cl like a clarity moment. And they think that is so beautiful about you. I feel like people look at you as somebody who heals hearts, which is funny because we have, I will open my heart here, right? So it's, it's almost like you help people feel like they can open their heart and that is something that they find so beautiful about you because that can be considered a rarity in this world. Somebody that can bring in that consciousness state of love, you know, of heart opening, of heart healing. Um, <clears throat> so it's just, it's kind of like, it's making me think of how in astrology there's this uh, this asteroid, I think it's pronounced Chiron, uh, at least that's how I pronounce it, and it is considered the wounded healer, right? And it's the wounded healer because it gives advice 
and helps the world in the areas that it needs to be helped. And all of us have a Chiron somewhere and all of us have a category where we are like this. And it kind of seems like you guys, um, though, again, you do do the work and you do have your healing moments, but it's like you're helping people heal in an area where you guys could really use some help too. Um, so I could see how this could be a little isolating at times, or it could make you guys feel alone at times, which is the definition of isolating, but you know, <laughs> let me say it twice to you. Um, let me see what else I'm getting here. Yeah, you're also very inspirational. Like you guys are inspirational to people. The words that you use, the way that you make them feel, and um, the, the calmness that you bring, it makes me think of a moment where somebody was just crying from a beautiful healing experience. Like they just touched a core wound that they didn't realize was there. And so they're crying and the, those tears are a release and they feel lighter afterwards. You guys give that to people. Whether they cry or not, it's like your presence, your essence, your soul creates that for people. Your soul is healing. And uh, it is so, uh, yeah, like people find that beautiful. They just look at you and they're like, this is the person who will heal my life. Look at them. <laughs> um, yeah, and with this Ten of Cups, it's like you guys make people feel good. You give them a sense of community because you give them that recognition, that kindness. You guys are like a no BS kind of person, right? Um, and that is something that is clear here, which is why I was saying it's like the energy of the mirror when I was talking about it was, it was calm, but it was not like, um, oh, you're okay, you're okay. You know, it wasn't like that. It was just kind of like a, a calm, it wasn't stoic, but it's a little hard to explain. And um, <clears throat> I think it's because you guys just don't do BS, right? You, you don't have the patience for it and you don't engage in it. And you guys are really, really, really good at spotting. It. Again, because being a mirror, right? Being a reflective surface, it's almost like you, you guys are like a crystal mirror. You know what I mean? Just to, to kind of specify, you're not just like some basic mirror. It's like a crystal with a reflective surface. So really you're this gem. But because you're also a shiny gem with a reflective surface, people can see, because of how shiny you are, people can see the reflection, you know? It's because of how high your frequency is and the frequency of your soul that people can see the reflection. And because you have seen so many countless people looking at you as the mirror, you have seen all kinds of characters and people and you recall stuff from past lives and you're just good at getting the true nature of people. You get that clear, clear, cognizant, intuitive insight. So you guys are really good at assessing people's true nature, the issues that they have. It's like, again, with this Ace of Swords, like look at this this um, owl with glasses. It's kind of like a, and the sword is, they're like surfing on this sword and they're like, I can see you. <laughs> The owl has a head that turns 360 degrees around, you know? It's like, I can see you. And there's a moon over here, which adds to the moon here with that deep insight, that like psychic insight. Um, and just because you're not revealing it out loud, it's like you guys can see everything quietly and it doesn't mean that you're going to say something because I feel like you guys know not to butt into a lot of things too. So sometimes you know the answers, but you don't give the answers because you've grown even more in your wisdom knowing that you can't necessarily get involved in everybody's situations because sometimes they have to kind of live through it. And you guys have the wisdom to see that, you know? Um, and there's a pure essence, like I'm seeing a lot of white creatures here, right? or creatures, that sounds like the white beings here, okay, like the the white poodle, the white cat, the white rabbit, and it's kind of like this is indicating your purity, your purity, and you have the gift of words as well. So people think, maybe people think that you guys speak eloquently, or maybe you guys are writers, and you write eloquently, and that is something that is beautiful, and people even consider it charming. Uh, remember, I don't know if you guys watched the intro or not, but I think in the intro I said, like, words can be beautiful. They can invoke a sensation of beauty, right? And you guys, that is part of 
part of your soul's beauty is the way that it communicates and expresses itself. You guys are like um, a, a treasure. You have so much beautiful golden treasure within you, like a, a well of, of gifts. And I feel like you are getting to that phase in your life now where as a mirror or as this, you know, mirror stand thing that has the, the jewelry box inside, but the mirror is actually made out of a crystal or like a diamond or something, you are now able to open yourself or like completely reflect on the inside of yourself. It was something you were always able to do, but I think um, the, you know, vibrations of the earth and like day-to-day -day life, uh, unless you're like a monk in a monastery, it's very easy to succumb to the vibrations that the media is putting out, that the environment, that work, school, the community could be putting out, you know, and those aren't necessarily going to always be positive vibrations. <clears throat> so it feels like you guys knew everything when you were kids, and then you could have had a little moment when you were teenagers where you kind of lost track of it, or or maybe there, the self-doubt started kicking in, and you guys are back to knowing and rediscovering fully your gifts. And I think that that is actually... It's not part of what makes your soul beautiful because this isn't something that people are seeing. It's just kind of a little ta a, a tidbit for you, letting you guys know that that is happening for you. Okay, so that's pretty exciting uh, because you're going to start finding out that there's so much more that you're capable of. People already, I feel like the... Mm, no, even people, even people didn't necessarily know just how capable you guys were. I mean, people have these the these great thoughts of you um, and they view you very highly. People see you as a healer. But I don't think they they ever thought about how much you could accomplish in the world. I think they just kind of saw you like they just, like th their thoughts of you are like, I'm just looking at this person. But it's not like, a, oh, you know what? This person is so, like, they are going to make every miracle happen in the world, you know? Um, it, it kind of feels like because you help them come to the present, when it comes to you, they only think of the present. Um, and I just heard in my head, like, the present is a gift, right? Being in the present is a gift because the word for present and gift, it's, it's, it's like the same in English. Um, yeah, I'm sure that I've heard that somewhere, but that came through. So it's interesting because we're talking about the present moment also being a gift. And then the true beauty is all around me. There's a lot of information here or a lot of kind of coincidences or synchronicities about um, seeing the beauty and the, the being grateful for the current moment. So I don't know if a couple of you guys could be maybe going through a little bit of a an emotional low or some kind of vibrational kind of wonkiness um and if if you guys are just a little reminder okay uh, that's totally normal that's okay it happens to literally everyone um and what can help you if you're being upset about being in this state is just remembering about the present moment right just kind of looking at the little birds if you like birds looking at street cats if you find street cats any dog that passes by find the joy in in the little uh beings <laughs> on earth if if whatever the season is where you guys are in the world you know what do the trees look like i'm sure the trees look beautiful in every stage right what does the sky look like is it a beautiful sunny day if not is it a a, a cloudy day and raining that can also be beautiful because rain is cleansing and sometimes having a rainy day just feels like the cleansing and reflection of what our heart or soul needs to feel at the moment. And in that sense, it can be beautiful, right? So it's kind of like coming back to that, that gratitude. It's okay that stuff is going on, but just remember to come back to, um, uh, to gratitude and then everything else will start helping you feel like yourself again. Okay, so that's a message for whoever needed it. Um, yeah, so in short, <laughs> or to sum it up, what is it that makes you guys, that what it, about your soul? What is the beauty of your soul? And it's this beautiful, divine, almost like sage-like um, being, 
okay? That is the essence of your soul, which is full of gifts and wisdom. And it's so selfless, right? It's not like trying to shine. It's not, that's the thing. It's not trying to shine or outshine people. If it does so, it does so because it's in its nature, but it's not, it's not ego. It's not trying to outshine people or shine brighter. It just is what it is. It's already collected all of that. And um, because of all of that too, it's this, it acts, it's able to act as the reflection for others. You know, and it's and it's something that people really, I think, admire about you. I think a lot of people would look at that trait in you and be like, I could never, you know. But that's another reason why they find it so beautiful in your soul. Why they find solace in your company. Um, yeah, so that was, uh, that was your reading group one. Maybe some of you guys have another group in this reading as well. Because um, I never really know how a reading is going to go until I'm you know, in the moment doing the reading. So if you guys wanted to hear more, possibly, uh, I would recommend checking out another group in addition to that. But yeah, that was the biggest thing that's coming through here. And I feel like Divine uh, wants you to know, wants you guys to know that it really truly is a gift, okay? It's not, um, and I know that you know that it's a gift, and I know that you sometimes could feel that it feels a little bit like a, something that can become a little bit of an emotional burden. Um, and it's totally okay and normal for you to feel those things. It doesn't mean that you're not grateful for your gift, but it's just in those moments, allow yourself to feel it. And then after you really intently or intensely feel it, let it go by going into the focus of what you're grateful for again, okay? Because you guys have a lot of guides around you that are constantly trying to encourage you and distract you and find silly kind of funny things, you know? And in those moments, if you really need to cry, you can tell them, okay, guys, give me a minute to cry. Give me like five minutes, okay? And then please give me the, the funny laughter things, okay? Um, <laughs> but yeah, group one, that was your reading. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, I would appreciate if you gave this video a thumbs up. Uh, I'd also love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Did you get what I meant by like being like this beautiful, uh, like intricate mirror that's not just a mirror, but has like a jewelry compartment inside that is lavish and like, did, did you get what I mean? <laughs> I just want to make sure you didn't think I was talking about like some basic wall mirror, you know? And that, like, that's all that you are. Cause it's, it's definitely, definitely not. This is the kind of essence that a soul embodies once it's been part of a much higher vibrational and higher dimensional uh, galactic um, or intergalactic uh, being or, you know, entity race. Okay. So I'm talking like eighth dimensional, seventh dimensional. I'm feeling more like eighth dimensional. A couple of you could be six, but it's really like seven, eighth dimensional kind of beings. Okay. Especially like eight, eight dimensional beings. Okay. So yeah. Um, also, for those of you who are subscribed to my channel, thank you very much. And uh, for those of you who are not, if you would like to stay up to date on when I uh, when I post videos, because I know sometimes it may not always be as frequently, and I'm hoping to do another uh, love letter reading in a couple of uh, in a couple of weeks too. So if you want to stay tuned or get a notification about that, feel free to subscribe. You don't have to, but if you would like to, feel free to do so. And I would appreciate it. Thank you. And if you guys are interested in a personal private reading or a custom crystal bracelet or um, a custom affirmation song, or <laughs> you can feel free to check out my, uh, my website or reach out to me through my email. Uh, and just again, a little reminder for anyone who's interested in fountain pens, uh, tarot oracle cards, or fine china um, that is vintage, uh, you can check out the eBay uh, every once in a while that I have in the description box to see if I'm posting any of the listings, okay? All right, you guys, I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. I'm sending you guys so much love, so much light, And may you guys have a wonderful evening, morning, afternoon, whenever it is that you're watching. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, group one. Hey, group two. This is your group. If you chose the Jade Twisby Eco, 
with the um, Vinta Inks Serena Mermaid Green <laughs> ink. Uh, I'm gonna set your pen to the side here and I shall ring the singing bowl for you, my friend. Okay, I have your cards, I finished shuffling them. Oops, and your uh, little note that I channeled through. Honestly, I channeled through these notes days ago because I was trying to film this video for <laughs> about a week now, at least. <clears throat> so the first group, their note was always on top, so I kind of knew what it was, but I forgot the other, so it's a surprise for me too. Um, but your note is, everything you've been doing up till now was all to lead to this moment. Don't you regret now, you're still going forward. Okay, and that's your little message, and you can see the shading properties of this ink. I think it's so cute, like it, well not just cute, I think it's really nice because it, it's almost like a moody color, you know, it makes me think of the ocean, but like also a rainstorm during the day, you know, so it's cloudy and it's pouring rain onto the ocean. Um, it's giving off that kind of moody vibe a little bit, um, at least for me. <laughs> but yes, I'll read that one more time. Everything you've been doing up till now was all to lead to this moment. Don't you regret now? You're still going forward. And what they what came through with don't you regret now, it's like, don't you regret it now? You know, like, don't start regretting because everything was to bring you to right here. And it may not look like forward progress sometimes, but it is. You guys are growing. It's not a step back. You know it's not a step back, but it could be a little frustrating because energetically or something emotionally maybe it can kind of feel like a step back, but it's not a step back. It's all leading you to this moment, okay? And just because the moment hasn't completely unveiled itself doesn't mean that it's not around a corner somewhere nearby, okay? All right, now let's get into your cards. We have... Um, one second. <laughs> we have the Three of Pentacles. Okay. The Four of Swords. Interesting. <laughs> it's kind of interesting because the first two cards have gray. And remember I was telling you, uh, this is kind of giving off the vibe of like, uh, cr a cloudy day and rain pouring down onto the ocean. Um, it's not a bad thing, by the way, because rain is needed for cleansing, right? Rain is needed for water, <laughs> for us to have water. Um, because if everything just continued to evaporate, that would, that would kind of be a problem. Um, it, it is needed to nourish as well, okay? Um, and it helps for us to feel feel our true emotions sometimes. Sometimes it's like kind of like, you know how sometimes you have to listen to a sad song to be able to start crying when you're feeling really emotional? Do any of you guys ever have that? Like when I was younger, it was very, 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 very easy to make me cry. <laughs> um, but uh, like it, it would happen very often. Let's just, I'm going to be completely honest with you. Um, and even when I was watching something, like if I watch something, like, even if it was just the tiniest scene, it could be easy for me to start crying because of how I feel the characters must be feeling and whatever and all of that stuff. But then there were certain moments in my life that maybe it was too hard uh, or like other stuff was going on. And so even though it could have been naturally easy for me to cry, I just was kind of like I, the tears aren't coming out, even though I, I feel it so much. You know, and so listening to like a sad song or having like the weather reflecting how you feel can help that to flow a little bit more. Um, okay, then we've got, oh, and okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, we've got the Six of Cups. Okay. Yeah, it, it's like, again, I'm hearing, uh, this is supposed to be about what makes your soul beautiful. And we're going to get into that. I'm sure the cards are going to show it, okay? But right now, what I'm hearing is more so about a message for the current moment for you guys. And that is, um, this is just a season of your life, okay? It's not the main event. It's not the place that you're stopping. It is a season and you are doing great at flowing through it, okay? You're not holding yourself up in the season. Even if the season lasts for 
you know, three months, I'm not saying it's going to, okay? I'm just, as an example, if the season is lasting three months, you're, it's not because you stopped and you could have finished it in, in five weeks at max, you know? It's like, no, the season was always meant to last three months. It's three months minimum. So the fact that it actually lasted three months means that you did nothing to hold yourself or keep yourself stuck in that season. You just allowed it to continue to flow. Sometimes you just, it's kind of like, one time I took this, uh, I did a synchronicity walk and I felt like I had the lessons of life like unfolding uh, for me when I did that. And it was, it was the day before the shift of my life, a huge shift in my life, because literally when I did that synchronicity walk, the next day I was released from my corporate job. And within like four days, I had started doing tarot and stuff like that as a business. Um, before I was just, I, I didn't have the confidence and all that. I was like, I don't know who, you know, what if I'm wrong or whatever? Like it, I can only do it for friends and family. Um, but I went to a reader and the reader was like, Milka, cause I was like, I don't know why I keep coming back here. And she's like, it's cause you're supposed to work here. And I'm like, well, I always thought of working in a spiritual store. I'm thinking like a person who sells the stuff. And she's like, no, you're supposed to be a reader here. Like you're good. You're supposed to be reading here. And I was like, I don't know. And she's like, maybe try a smaller shop, you know, to build your confidence. But I feel like you're ready to be here. And I told her, I was like, I don't know if I can actually do something like that. And she was like, well, um, if you can give yourself a weekend, just giving, just doing it on the weekends. But my corporate job had taken up all of my time. And the weekend was the only time that I had to myself. So I was like, I can't, like, I don't have the time. Literally the next day I did the synchronicity walk where I got the life lesson. And the day after that, my corporate job released me. Um, <laughs> I had a single tear fall down my face, not because of sadness, but because I literally in that moment when they were like letting me go, you know, they were doing layoffs. I was like, I'm free. <laughs> And they were like, you can't finish out the final hour, leave your, like, just leave the stuff and go, you know, like, and I was like, okay, um, okay, that's fine. So as I walked out in that area, there was never usually music playing, but there was a song playing how, saying how like things are going great and perfect. And I was like, well, now I have time. Like I, I told the lady I can't work there because I don't have time. And like literally two days later, I have time after I got this huge, but anyway, the lesson was <laughs> one of the like lessons of that synchronicity walk was the only true way to get to the light is through the dark. There's no way of going around it, okay? You can try to come up with different ways to go around the obstacle, but none of them will ever lead you to the true light because the only way to that true light, to that full light, is through the dark. It's a necessary part of the process, okay? so. That's why I'm saying it's like a season and it's something that you've got to go through, right? Everything you've been uh, doing up till now was all to find the, uh, to lead to this moment. You know, you're still going forward. Actually going through the dark means that you are continuing to progress, even though it may not always seem that way. Okay. Um, but apart from these little messages, <laughs> which are making your groups reading longer, so I apologize for that. But I, I do feel like there are a couple of you guys that really needed to hear that, which is why I put it in there. As far as you guys in general, you guys are quite a sunshiny person, uh, especially in your soul's, your soul's core nature and essence. And I think that's why those of you who are experiencing this kind of like this storm... Uh, could be really feeling it as a low because you guys are naturally such a sunshiny kind of a I wanted to say kind of a guy kind of a person maybe maybe your energy is not like super duper oh actually huh, let's get into your cards the emperor <laughs> I was going to say maybe your energy is not super duper feminine it's it could be a little bit more balanced and it's just funny because while I was shuffling this deck I saw the emperor peek through, but I kept shuffling because I, I like to ha have the cards fall out. And I guess it ended up falling out as well. So it came through here and the emperor actually came through in one of the other decks um, while I was shuffling. It didn't fall out, I don't think, but I was just interested. I was like, yes, okay, interesting. The emperor showed its face twice and then actually fell out. Uh, the two of cups, this one also revealed itself while I was shuffling and I, I, I guess it fell out too. And aren't these little beluga whales so cute? I mean, look at them. Look at them holding the cups. They're so cute. <laughs> okay. 
of oh my did you guys hear you know i'm i'm a little worried that there may be an issue with like a pipe or something because i never used to really hear water um like people flushing the toilet upstairs or like water moving through the pipes but in the last like month i've kind of been hearing water pretty loudly and it's kind of making me a little worried uh so hopefully everything's fine um then we, we have the fool for you again another cute card i mean look at that it's so cute <laughs> i mean this is called the kawaii tarot so <laughs> they're, they're supposed to be cute um but I wasn't pointing out how cute they were in the last group, so something about this is important. Okay, another, wow, another set of what, I was gonna say, I was gonna say with the first two cards that came out from this deck, because these two cards and the fact that the flowers here are white felt very significant, okay? But then you also have the lovers. You guys got an extra card in this deck and it just so happens to be the lovers. And again, they're white. Um, so very interesting. And then speaking of another uh, white animal, okay, the Five of Cups. We'll get into the significance of the white um, soon. It kind of feels weird. <laughs> I, um, it kind of feels weird uh, speaking. Of, like I, I don't normally feel awkward about talking about it because I'm just talking about like the fur or the color of the animal. But for some reason... When I said white this time around, um, the my like the thoughts of something to do with race and like somebody getting triggered, like I'm not white, or <laughs> uh, I try not to get into that kind of. But it's just interesting that like that kind of came up. So I don't know if somebody was watching this or somebody's kind of like, oh, uh, white again, you know. And um, I don't even know if I'm gonna keep like I don't know. This feels too controversial to be talking about, but. I, I will. I'll keep it in the video. Yeah, so I don't know why that came up. Um, I don't know if I'm even going to be picking up on that further because I don't, I don't try to look into that because these are general readings for a large population of people. But um, it came through, so I would say for somebody who maybe was triggered by the fact that I was talking about, like, white here... Um, maybe the trigger could be pointing to a specific wound or emotional trauma that you guys could be carrying uh, that is associated with that negative emotion that you may have felt when you were triggered, right? So it could be a key indicator of where you may need healing, right? Because if somebody, for example, is like, oh, this group of people have this and I had to struggle for everything that I've had, um, which is a very valid point, but if that was, and maybe it has nothing to do with race. Uh, maybe the race thing was just a way for, for like divine, for God to like point out to me what this is trying to say. And again, I'm not saying this is all of you guys. It just feels like this is a very specific message for somebody. Um, but it could be that you guys feeling, whoever this is for, um, like other people had it easier or like for a certain type of person, or community or social class like they uh they didn't have to go through what you had to go through and it can be a little saddening or depressing i feel like it's indicating that there is a need for healing for the experiences that you've had but also uh it could be hinting towards a little bit of a lack mentality which is totally normal because in this day and age we've been programmed to head towards a lack mentality so I would, I would like, don't blame yourselves for feeling that way. And it's not like to be, um, <clears throat> you know, making you guys feel uncomfortable hearing something like that or triggering you guys about it. Okay. But, um, feeling like, like that, it's just kind of, think of it as a seed, right? I'm just going to plant the seed and it's up to you to see if you feel like that actually applies to you guys or not. Um, because if you feel like your opportunities and uh, things that you can do or your resources are limited, uh, and that, that, that is a valid way to feel, okay? Um, I'm not saying that magically you're just going to have this stuff come up out of nowhere, 
but something that I think could help you guys in the long run would be to shift the perspective, right? Because that's how people do, uh, like, use the law of attraction and manifestation, right? It's, um, yeah, they, they change their environment by changing their frequency. Uh, and they change their frequency by stating what it is that they want to have as if they have it now, as opposed to, like, what they're seeing around themselves now and what they've experienced in the past, right? Because living in the experience of the past is only keeping you stuck in the energy of the past, right? And those things don't have to be your truth anymore. Your truth can be something different. And even if you don't see how something like that could work because you're more logical or you think a little bit more logically, it doesn't mean that it can't actually work, okay? So that was for whoever needed to hear it. Um, hopefully you guys aren't a little triggered by what I was saying. I know it's a, it can be a sensitive topic when we're talking about people's hurts and how they've and how they felt like mistreated or um you know all of that okay but yes let's get back into the reading there's a lot of side stuff coming on in your reading um like little side quests you could say okay we've got chariot um the six of pentacles wow you guys have two sixes okay that's very these are these are nice Cards. I already got your vibe from the beginning and I'll tell you guys I'll tell you all about you in a moment okay we have the phoenix and then we have dog yes okay that makes sense too okay um and then we have rhodochrosite okay I'm gonna take this off screen so I can read it uh, rhodochrosite can improve your outlook on love and romance, especially if you're feeling defeated or uninspired. Rhodochrosite has purifying powers that soothe emotional stress and deflect negative energy. Turn to the pink stone to increase feelings of positivity and optimism in your dating life or partnership. Keeping rhodochrosite close to your heart chakra in your coat pocket or a chain can also help you gain a better sense of yourself within a relationship, which can lead to more confidence in love. Okay, let's put it here, I guess. We'll shift you all over. All right, and this particular deck uh, is a combination, it's like a love deck, so things are going to be a little bit more focused towards love and um uh it's not just crystals it's like affirmations crystals little rituals and stuff so uh <laughs> not creepy rituals <laughs> just little rituals uh that you could do for like increasing love within yourself and whatnot so you guys just so happen to get an actual stone um and give me a moment you guys just to see what i'm getting here with the full picture before i start speaking this the speaking the speak <laughs> okay. All right. So, gearing back to the topic of today's video, which is what is the true uh beauty and nature of your soul that like shines through that people can see and find beautiful about you. Okay? You guys are such a support. Like I could tell this from from the beginning, I started kind of, because while I was shuffling, I would see certain cards like either popping up or making themselves known. And um, like even the bottoms of the decks, you have the, the nine of cups, you have the, the ace of wands. Oh, what is this? Oh, temperance, yeah, balance. Okay, you also have um, this monkey card. I thought was kind of cute. Um, <laughs> And you have, oh, you have the Ace of Wands twice. Okay, like that is important. That is significant. We'll get to that in a moment. And then we have Power of Touch on the bottom here too. Okay, so I could already kind of, I was getting a very strong sense of you. And remember I was saying like, there's this like sunshiny personality. You guys are, you have more yin energy to you. That's why I was saying it's not like, like the first group felt a lot more like feminine energy. Like they had Wait, 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 hold on. I think I'm mixing up uh, yin and yang because I think yin is the feminine and yang is the masculine. I think I just caught myself. Uh, the first group, hold on. I'm sorry, I have to Google this. I have to Google this. Oh, 
Okay. Yeah. Sorry about that. So I guess the fact that I mentioned Ian in your group and I caught myself, I feel like you guys do. Remember I was mentioning there is a balance. And even here, look, they're kind of in that symbol, the yin yang. Oh, oh, also, okay, okay, okay. So the sunshiny energy that we were getting through, I was saying it's a little bit more yang energy. It's a little bit more of the masculine. You do also have the emperor it came out a couple of times, right? But all of the white, white is the color of yang, okay it's that solar energy so and it's the masculine energy so i think that that's interesting it's coming through pretty strongly here um so there is a a more yeah it feels like a more healthy kind of masculine energy to you guys again this is genderless so um regardless of your gender everyone has both energies but sometimes we lean more towards one side or sometimes we're in a period in our life where we lean more towards the other and sometimes we're more balanced so for you guys you do feel more balanced but it kind of feels like your energy naturally likes to lean slightly more to the masculine okay and what i mean by that is there is this energy of a provider within you somebody who takes care of the group Okay, um, so again, this is about the beauty of your soul and, or what people find beautiful about your soul, right? And I feel it is in your soul's nature to take care, to take care of people. Here, this is you guys. This is you giving out this, this pure white sunshiny flower, okay, to this, this little girl, to somebody uh, or in need, okay? Like this is you guys, and even here, right? This is a this is a boy. So again, it's like that that symbolism of the this is slightly more leaning more towards masculine energy, okay? And giving, like it is just it's so beautiful to see it depicted like this because again, it's like that giving nature is coming through very strongly. Even here with the three of pentacles, this is you guys helping people, giving them suggestions. It's like you guys are the the go-to person. Like I feel some people truly see you as the go-to person and maybe it could be in your nature or like a desire for you guys to be that go-to person for people. You guys maybe want people to feel like they can rely on you. Um, and again, it's like you have a very jovial presence. It's very large, very, very, very bright. Remember in the beginning here, I was saying you guys have a very sunshiny energy. Here, oh, the sun, the sun, the sun is coming through, right? You've got the sun here three times. Um, yes, and with the two of cups, that's what I was saying. Like, even though it could be favoring a little bit more of that provider energy, which is the masculine energy, you guys do have a good balance of both. Um, which is good. That's actually a very, very good skill to have or like gift to have in life, I would say. Um, yes, because that means that you are, you can be emotionally available and open and understanding. Um, in addition to, it's like you get, to, you have the opportunity to now embody the positive traits of both aspects, which is great. As opposed to leaning towards one side and having an imbalance in the other and that being something that needs more healing like this is what we're seeing here is a little bit more of a balance even though your soul seems to favor the more provider role <sighs> okay what else are we getting here yeah another thing that is like the beauty of your soul it's like your kindness you guys have there is a purity there right just like pure sunlight and sunshine it just radiates joy like you guys have a jovial presence that radiates joy and that's why i was saying it's interesting how they're showing a gray season here but this is who you guys are then then it's back to the sunshiny state okay like you guys are radiant. Uh, you guys have a, a very uh, large presence. Um, I think people, when they naturally, unless you guys are encountering like an alpha male energy, <laughs> uh, again, it doesn't have to be uh, just male. It could be a female or whatever that happens to have an alpha male energy. Most of the time, though, this alpha male energy that I'm talking about is one that is like unhealthy, though. Like it's too much into it's too, it's leaning too much into it, and then the feminine uh, energy is out of balance. So unless you guys encounter those kinds of people, because those kinds of people, I feel like they could be, they could possibly be a little triggered by your sense of security. Um, 
within the energy, within those types of energies, okay? So, but other people <laughs> do feel like they want to kind of, whenever they're in your energy or in your presence, they're okay with, it's like you, you somehow slowly start to kind of rise to the top <laughs> in the group and become like, take on a slight leadership role, but it doesn't feel like a leadership role. Like people aren't like, feeling like you just took control because it's not even like that. It's just naturally just like the sun rises and the people, this is kind of a weird way of putting it, but it's almost like some people, they feel so secure in your presence because again, it's like you have this kindness and this provider and like a protecting kind of presence um, that you help people feel secure. And because people feel secure, they don't have, they don't feel the need to, um, uh, to, uh, what's the word to like compete with you or whatever. Like they're okay with you. Again, it's not even like you're trying to, it just naturally happens. I think because as they feel secure, they kind of, it's not that they lower their, their vibration. They just kind of stay calm. They let mellow out. And so you naturally, because you are this radiant being, you kind of stand, you keep standing tall, you know? So it's like, of course you're going to kind of stand taller than than the people around you almost as if you're standing in the leadership role because it's just your nature and then you help people feel like they don't have to be wound up because you you emit this sense of security and stability for them or like the safe space for them to be able to have that kind of thing which is so interesting because uh in group one it really was more feminine so it was playing into the higher feminine aspects of um the kind of traits and how they help people and you guys have the more uh, positive masculine aspects which I think it's it's very interesting um okay let me see what else I'm getting here mm -hmm. do, 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 do. you guys are also funny like it, again it, I, the word that I keep getting is jovial okay uh like like Jupiter-esque like a larger that it's the largest planet in our solar system right like larger than life presence uh zeus is the associate like he's associated with jupiter right because jupiter is the roman counterpart to zeus and again it's like even with zeus and like jupiter there's like a an association with lightning and zap and like atmosphere and i feel like you guys could bring the fun you guys are just like a soul full of joy <laughs> and again I just keep getting radiant light and it just shines through so much that I feel like people actually find you guys physically attractive uh, regardless of how you look because it's just it's like this light it completely emits and radiates from you and it makes people feel like they can put their trust in you and like you guys are very capable and automatically those things can make somebody look more attractive and then the fact that you guys are so joyful in your core and your essence and it just reflects out of your soul um you guys are funny it's like you guys are really good at lightening the mood you know so if something is going on or if somebody's having a a hard seat like their own hard season that they're going through it's like you guys have a way of saying things or making a joke or if you're like visiting a relative for example who's a little bit more serious or you know they don't laugh as often it's like you have a very special way of being with this relative to get them to start laughing uh to get them to smile more you know, you guys are the gift to the world in that sense. You are the gift of of, of God's joy and light. It's incredible. Um, and it's very, very beautiful. It's so bright that like people can't look away, <laughs> you know. Um, I, I also just heard in my head like people mistake you for the sun. <laughs> um, and I guess because you act that role in so many people's lives. You, you guys are the sunshine and the joy of so many people's lives. You guys are gonna have the longest reading in this, like the longest, you guys are the longest group in this reading. I can already feel it. <laughs> um, but yes, okay. And even here with the fool, it's like there's an this aspect of, of a youthful charm and innocence to you guys or the way that you approach, it's like, even if you've been hurt before, you can still jump in and allow yourself to have a new experience. You guys don't allow yourself to stay too stuck, or at least you're trying not to allow yourself to stay, to stay too stuck in the past, right? So it's like there, there's also this, this uh, 
I think for some of you guys, there is a thirst for something new. You guys are such lovers too. It's like you guys are cuddly, you know? And it just, this makes me think of like a, a hug, okay? So there is this essence of like, um, again, with the provider energy, it's something that makes me think of more like physical, right? And masculine is more physical, where feminine is more emotional. <clears throat> so even here, it kind of makes me think of like bear hugs and and coziness, and that's the that's the feeling that you guys give others, and that's that's what your soul has. Like again, it's this warmth, the warmth of a hug, coming of, from a place of love. So it's interesting that we do have the power. Ooh, both cards. Explore the stars. Okay, that's interesting. Solar plexus chakra. Yes, the solar plexus chakra. It is associated with the sun, with uh, yang energy. Okay. <laughs> So interesting. It's interesting that uh, that is coming through. But then we also have the power of touch. And then underneath it, that kind of was sticky is explore the stars. But um, explore the stars, I feel like is more like celestial origins. And the sun is a star. Okay, you guys do have like the star quality. Your soul has a star quality. Um, but yes, with the power of touch being here, something that it made me think of on the bottom of the deck is you guys do like something about your touch feels very warm. So you guys have a healing touch. And again, because you give people the sensation of safety and security, it's like not many people can feel like they can be hugged by someone or like have somebody's hand on them and feel okay with it or safe, right? Sometimes they have no feeling at all because their body has been numbed because of experiences that they've had. And then sometimes they can actually feel uncomfortable, right? Um, but I feel like with your touch, it is so, again, you guys are sun energy. You are the sun. You are like, that's all I keep hearing is like, you are the sunlight. Um, and you radiate that warmth. It's like you touch lives with your warmth, with the warmth of your soul. And it's like your soul literally is a sun. It is a star. <laughs> like that's kind of how it feels. And um, it's amazing. It's, uh, I feel like you guys have definitely had past lives as like a warrior or a knight of some kind um, and a defender, like a protector. And your touch, it fe like people feel the warmth in your touch. You know, maybe you guys also just genuinely have a warm touch, but I, I do feel like it's more of an energetic thing, like the warmth of your touch, like the sun, Apollo. It's interesting. I'm talking a lot about um, Greek um, uh, deities, right? So I mentioned Zeus. Uh, now we're talking about Apollo. Okay. But Apollo, <sighs> Apollo is associated with the sun, right? He's one of the sun gods. There's also Helios. But Apollo is also associated with medicine and the truth, right? Because the light, the sun, reveals the truth. And you guys help people see their full, their true potential. You guys are very encouraging and inspiring and inspirational and, and um, motivating, okay? You motivate people. It's like you pull people out. Like you guys, if you encounter someone in their stormy moment or in their stormy phase or day, you guys are literally the sun that helps the clouds dissipate, like dissipate, I think that's the word, uh, so that they can see, they can be reminded like, oh yes, there is light. I just have to overcome this phase. Kind of like what I was telling you guys earlier, right? It's just a phase. It's like you guys are going through uh, like a little bit of a, a, a dark night of the soul or like a shadow period because in order to continue to fully have that, uh, to fully have access to this um, this potential or energy of your soul, right? That maybe has even gone untouched by you guys that hasn't even been fully recognized yet. Uh, and it's kind of like, it's it sounds funny to think because it's like you guys are already so grand in your presence and energy. So it can even be even greater and more um, once you guys go through that shadow period, right? Like I was telling you about the tunnel. Um, and it's funny how I'm talking about you guys having warm, like a warm touch because my hands are freezing right now. <laughs> They're actually shriveled up from how cold they feel. 
And they feel cold and damp, which is actually uh, the definition of um, yin energy. Whereas yeah, like the, the element of yin energy is damp and cold. And for, for yang, it's, it's uh, or yang, whatever, however it's pronounced, it's uh, hot and dry. So I'm feeling the complete opposite as I'm talking about your warm hands. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, give me a moment to see the rest. Um, hmm. You guys are super loyal to like even like these two dogs here are really and the Rodecrisite is like really giving off the vibe of somebody who is super loyal like you can do it. Like, I I have faith in you. You can do it. You know, like somebody who is unconditionally encouraging and genuinely, truly meaning it. Because like I said, you guys can see the potential in people and help people see the potential within themselves. Okay. And um, it almost feels like you guys could have had a couple of scars when it comes to love. Uh, because somebody as grand as you and your soul and your presence and essence and everyone who can see that which is the majority of people unless they're so triggered by it because they're in an unhealthy imbalanced alpha male kind of energy um, uh, and so they could get like aggressive or like irritated with you guys but it's only it's like your energy is not challenging them but because their energy is unhealthy and they need healing and there's like trauma there um, they consider it a threat because it's like, oh, there can't be, there can't be two kings in the jungle, <laughs> you know? <laughs> uh, there can only be one of us. <laughs> and it's like, bro, I'm not even trying to, like, take your role or anything. Be a king if you want. I'm just existing, you know? <laughs> um, <laughs> but, but yeah. <laughs> Sorry, that was just so funny to me for some reason. <clears throat> And oh yes, look, we're talking about the heat and the sun and you literally have Phoenix here, okay? This is a fire bird, a fire bird of transformation. And that's what you guys are experiencing right now is that transformation. And what I was mentioning with the the um, possible hurt and love, it could have been possible that you guys attracted people who had, you know, parent wounds um, and they just kind of radiated towards your light and you guys were like you know what i can help them um and it's like it's the goal should not be to to get into a relationship to help somebody or like you're helping somebody and then you're like but i really like this person you know but then you also have to realize like sometimes somebody still has a lot more trauma to heal before they actually can be in a good healthy connection with you and i feel like that was something that you guys had to kind of experience and and learn for yourselves because you guys are so again the six of pentacles you're so giving it's like you it, and this energy it's it, i'm like here where is it coming from <laughs> like where is this energy even coming from because you are continuing to be you guys have i'm surprised the strength card has not come out for you but with like big players like the Emperor and the Phoenix, I guess it's okay. But uh, like this Six of Pentacles is like, look look at this armadillo, literally just throwing coins like, here you go, here you go, here's a ray of sunshine, here's a ray of sunshine. And it's like, where is this coming from? You know, like, um, it's just innate. It's like literally coming from your soul. <laughs> Somebody else would have been a lot more depleted a lot quicker and sooner than you guys, but you just have this incredible energy to keep going. It's amazing. Um, and you guys are super unconditional. I think that's another reason why people feel so safe and like grateful. Again, there's like this, it's a, a very beautiful. Your, your presence, your energy is very beautiful. And because you guys are unconditional um, in, in your nature and like, loving and cozy like it's in your nature it's in your soul's nature to gravitate towards those kinds of things um <clears throat> i think that could have been one of the reasons why it could have been a little easier for you guys to get hurt in in the romance department um but you guys could try working with rhodochrosite but it doesn't necessarily the fact that it came out doesn't mean that this is the stone that you need to have it's just uh, this stone represents, uh, it's a pink stone. It's a very beautiful heart healing stone, okay? And it also can sometimes be associated with the higher heart chakra, which is that Christ consciousness. 
that Christ love, which is again, that unconditional love. Um, Christ consciousness love, not Christ consciousness. <laughs> Uh, that that's why I mentioned the Christ love, okay? Um, and then we have chariot. I feel like you guys are constantly forward moving, like you're constant. Again, this is this these readings always come out. However, they're gonna come out, you know. Like I I have an intention of what the what it's supposed to be, uh, which is usually the title of the video. But then sometimes what comes out is um, <clears throat> whatever you guys need to hear, right? So there's no controlling it. But um, <laughs> I hope that you did get a glimmer of what I was saying in regards to what is the beauty of your soul. I hope that I was able to make that clear. But yes, with this, this chariot card, it's like there is this constant forward movement. And, you know, there is a star here, too. You guys, I feel like could also be a guiding star for a lot. And hair, a hair. <laughs> you guys could be a, a star, a guiding star for a lot of people, Okay. I don't know if you've watched my other videos, you guys, but are you the group where there's always hair on the cards? <laughs> because <laughs> uh, I've noticed that there is a group that sometimes comes up in one of the videos where hair is kind of a thing that comes through. Um, but okay, now give me one moment to see what I'm seeing with the Five of Cups. You know, I feel like this Five of Cups is talking about this 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 um, season of your life that we're talking about that you guys are already moving past or you're in the you're making good timing, good progress. You're right on track, okay? Um, and I feel like it's it's adding to your grace. It's kind of like even though you are all these things and you may be having a shadow moment in your life. You guys still are this true essence. You guys still are this this beauty. And I wish I could just come out of the screen and give you guys a hug because I feel like the hugger needs to be hugged sometimes and the supporter needs to be supported. And you guys are those things and you deserve that, that warmth and that hug and support in return, okay? And um, yeah, so this kind of feels like it's it's not about just the beauty of your soul in this section. This is just more of what's going on and letting you guys know that you are, you're handling this as gracefully as you can, okay? And um, it's good that you guys find ways to give and care for people, but it's okay that you haven't had the capacity to give as much as you had before and all of this stuff because it's about you. Your life is also about you, not just how you can help the world and help the people in your community around you, okay? It's so beautiful that that, that is your nature and that it is the thing that you guys do. It, you it, Because it's your soul's nature, you literally do it without even thinking. Like, it just, it kind of happens, okay? But on the earthly plane, sometimes we have those periods where we do have to consistently think just about us and what we're going through and what we're experiencing. And um, I hope you guys can continue to give yourself that gentleness and kindness and not get too frustrated, okay, when um, you're still looking out into the sky and seeing the clouds. Maybe instead of getting frustrated, just look at the clouds and be like, hey clouds, <laughs> it's you again. Okay, I see there's more for me to to cry about today, okay? <laughs> or maybe you could uh, see those clouds and think, mm, you know, the smell of ozone or the smell of the potential rain that could be coming down feels kind of refreshing today, right? Or the idea of a cool rain coming down feels like I can use that rain to cleanse myself today, right? So not like a another cloudy day. It's okay. I'll keep moving forward. Right. But literally looking at it and being like, you know what? I see the potential in these clouds today. And if it starts drizzling, I may just stand outside to have that, that heavenly, heavenly cleansing water of nature, uh, help cleanse me too. Right. So it can be kind of brought into that as you're kind of shifting through this place but um yeah group two <laughs> that was your reading i hope you guys enjoyed your reading felt very unorthodox for the topic of today <laughs> um 
But if, if you felt like it was something that you needed to hear or if it made sense to you and it resonated for you, I would love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Okay, if you did enjoy this video, I would appreciate if you gave it a thumbs up. And um, also, if you guys want to stay in the loop of when I post next, feel free to subscribe to my channel if you have not already subscribed. And if any of you are interested in a personal private reading, a custom crystal bracelet, or a custom affirmation song, feel free to check out my website or reach out to me either through the contacts page on my website or through my email. And also, for anyone in the market for fine China, <laughs> Um, or possibly uh, tarot or oracle decks uh, and one or two fountain pens, feel free to periodically check in on that eBay link that I've included in the description box below. All right. And um, yeah, I love you guys so much. Okay. I'm sending you guys an energetic hug. Come here, group two. Let me give you a big hug. <laughs> All right. Um, I hope you guys have a beautiful, wonderful day. I'm sending you guys so much love, so much light, and may you always stay blessed. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, group two. Hi, group three. This is your group. If you chose the Twisby Eco Lilac with the Dominant Industry Pearl Sunset Ink, Okay, you can kind of see the glitter sticking here when you um, agitate the glitter a little. You can see it kind of integrates into the ink and all that. Um, but yes, I'll set your pen to the side. I'm going to ring the singing bowl for you guys. Oops. Oops. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just like flung the stick. Okay. Ooh, flung the stick. That sounds kind of funny. Okay, uh, let's get to your message. Uh, so it says, let's see. You've grown beyond the point of your comprehension. You may not see it yet, but you've actually come much further than you think. I'm so incredibly and extremely proud of you. God bless you, my friend. Okay, and let me show you guys the glitter. Uh, you can kind of see it um, in the writing. There it is. And then in the dollop. I'll set your little message to the side here. And let's get into your cards. You guys are the first group to get something other than like... Well, actually, that's not true. The first group had affirmation cards. Two of them. They happened to get two cards. It was supposed to be one. But they got two and both were affirmation cards. The second group got a crystal. And you guys got a love spell. Um... I don't know how I feel about reading out this love spell to you guys, but I'm going to take the message on the actual card. Um, okay, let's get into your cards. We've got the Two of Swords, the Knight of Cups, the Star card, <coughs> the Four of Wands, the Three of Coins, the Ace of Cups, the Eight of Swords, okay, the Magician, ooh la la, <laughs> the Four of Wands, okay. Oh, you have it twice, the Four of Wands, the Dragonfly, the Turtle, and this says, come to me. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how comfortable I feel about, like, putting out a spell kind of thing for the interwebs. I'll hold it up if you guys want to pause it and read it. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing this kind of like ritual thing on a person that you have in mind. If you wanted to do something like this, then maybe do it in general to bring in the love that is meant for you. Uh, okay, but yes, uh, I'm taking the words come to me though as the message. Um, 
All right, guys, so it is, what is, I'm just reminding myself. <laughs> Uh, what is your soul's true beauty that everyone can see? Let's see, let's see. I feel like, I mean, I know this is always the case where people can't make a wrong decision because every choice like leads you to where you're supposed to be. But I feel like that's except like especially true for you guys. Like you are always taken to exactly where you're supposed to be and it's very obvious. Like the moment you get there, it's very, very obvious. You're like, oh, I didn't make a wrong turn. I'm actually, I wanted to buy a cake and I ended up in front of a cake shop, you know? Like for some people it happens in subtle ways where it's like the trajectory of their life but for you guys it literally happens in every little thing like you guys don't actually have a wrong turn like sometimes you have the wrong turn because wrong turn because you're actually avoiding something uh if you would have went the correct way like maybe there was a traffic jam or whatever you know like it's really like there are no wrong turns for you guys which is kind of cool uh that's just a little side message um the fact that you guys have four of wands twice i feel like you guys are like the joy of like you guys embody the joy of life okay <laughs> you guys embody the joy of life you guys are very um radiant okay your energy stands out your soul is celestial so there was another group that had a very celestial soul kind of like a star and you guys are like that too your soul is very celestial um, you're very compassionate and there is a, a calmness to you like you know this dragonfly and the turtle are kind even though the dragonfly kind of makes me think of a masculine normally but in this scenario it's kind of making me think of something feminine so you guys have a good mix but I do feel like you are one of the groups where you slightly prefer the feminine like you prefer the feminine energy slightly more to the masculine um I think it's kind of a little bit more innate within you um you guys are master manifestors. Like, that's what I'm saying, you know? It's like, you were literally thinking, I want cake, and then you made a wrong turn, but you didn't make a wrong turn. It's just, you wanted cake, and God was like, I'm gonna give you cake. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, it, it feels, oh, ee, oh, sorry, I'm getting a, a pain. Give me a second. Okay. Oh gosh. I'm okay. <laughs> um Yeah, so <sighs> Sorry guys. <laughs> Give me a moment. I I'm getting back into the flow, into the flow. <laughs> uh But actually speaking of flow, there's a lot of blue going on here. Um, water, water, water. Yes, this is fire, but it's in the clouds with blue. This has got blue, water, and also blue, water, and also blue. Dragonflies are considered transfer, like, they're associated with transformation or transmutation because they actually get, start out in the water before they go out into the world and fly in the air. So, the magician is an alchemist, okay, can turn uh dirt into gold i guess um so i feel like the two of swords and the eight of swords are not the beauty of your soul i feel like they are you guys on the journey to fully expressing and being completely 100% open to the beauty of your soul pouring out it's constantly coming out but it's more like you guys being aware 100% consciously and even subconsciously of the beauty of your soul kind of pouring out. Um, <clears throat> it seems like you guys are getting closer and closer to being able to, like, every time, oh yeah, it's even said here, right? 
uh, you've grown beyond the point of your comprehension. You may not see it yet, but you're actually you've actually come much further than you think. Right. So that's kind of what, what we're talking about here. It's like there are still little bits and pieces that may have like a little bit more of a trapped mentality associated with you guys or maybe little trickles of the past. But they're not things of the past that are holding you back. They're things of the past that you're actually letting go as you're going along the journey. So I know that's not talking about the beauty of your soul, but, you know, messages that want to come out will come out. Um but yes, like the beauty of your soul is like you guys are just, you make miracles happen. You guys have this blessing or this gift of creating miracles, of literally granting wishes. It's like you guys are the fairy godmother of the universe, okay? Like a cosmic fairy godmother. Um, <laughs> and you literally can make wishes come true for people. So something about your presence or like and it, it feels like even your so it's not a, even a, it's not a coincidence that you guys got a love spell because i was just gonna say before i remember that this is the thing that you got it's like you guys can call in things for your, for other people and for yourself you know so you can literally it's like you're um you're saying you're gonna meet love soon to somebody right and then they meet love right in, in like a week or two uh, that's just an example, but it's like your words are literally like an incantation. Your words are so powerful. So you guys have this like, you guys are like the fairy godmother <laughs> of the world. <laughs> I get, that's kind of the phrasing that's coming through. And that's one of the beautiful things of your soul is like you guys are gift givers. You guys are gift giving. Your energy, your essence is great. It's, it's not even just gift giving. It's dream fulfillment. Okay, uh, like you guys are constant uh, miracle fulfillment. We'll we'll call it. It's like you guys say something and then it happens for somebody. You know, like you say, you know, uh, like somebody's like, I've always wanted this pink watch, you know, and whatever, but I could never get it and stuff like that. And then you look at them and you're like, you're gonna get, you're gonna get your pink watch. You deserve your pink watch. And they literally get that pink watch like two weeks later. You know, so. It's like what and whatever it is that you and somebody else could be talking about, it's like it happens for them, right? Like the things that they want or whatever. It's like, again, your energy, your soul grants wishes, grants miracles, <laughs> creates miracles for yourself and for others. Um, yeah, so the four of wands here is giving off the vibes of like actually four wands, uh, not like the traditional meaning of the four of wands, but actual four wands. And the the magician is the master, the avatar, the master of four elements. <laughs> but kind of like, yes, you know, <laughs> a wizard. Look at that. Like you guys are magical. What is so beautiful? Yes, that's what it is. Magical, right? Magic, spells. It's incredible. So one of the things that is beautiful about your soul is you guys are, again, it's like your celestial, like I just heard the word celestial goddess queen. And again, this is regardless of gender, but I think because this, uh, this energy here leans a little bit more towards the feminine, which the feminine and the masculine create in unique ways, right? So the masculine creates in a physical, more driven way. The, the feminine creates in a more emotional, wild, and can be untamed way um <clears throat> and then the com the unison creates also um give me a sec and you know what else is funny you guys chose the purple purple is like the crown chakra it is the connection with divine you know and that connection with source energy you guys are cosmically connected to god your soul is cosmically linked it's like almost like DNA. I mean, everyone is like this, but it's, it's extra prominent with you guys, you know, like it's visible to the, to the naked eye, to the, to the people around you. It's one of the things that is so incredibly beautiful about your soul is anyone who can look at you, who can bear witness to you, uh, even if they can't see, like, I think that's what, I think that's another thing that's important to point out. They don't have to be able to physically see you, to be able to see or sense this 
connection. It's like your DNA is like woven with the fabric of God. Like you guys are world builders, world creators, like master manifestors. You can create anything. Uh, you can call in anything. Literally, come to me. You got a spell card. Come to me. Like, uh, words are in chat. That's what I'm saying. I don't need to read the actual description here. I knew when the moment this card came out, I knew that it was just the words that were important here. And it's like, it's coming through like, yes. And even with this turtle, it's like, you guys are cosmically going through life. Like, that's what it, it's like. You're just kind of going through life. Like, how the turtle goes through in the waves. Um... <clears throat> and I think what's significant about this turtle is that turtles and dragonflies are both land and sea animals, okay? Land and sea creatures. And so you're actually getting that. It's like, again, the master of all elements, right? Because the magician is the master of all of the four suits and the four wands, the, the four elements. So Again, I got Avatar, right? Avatar, the last airbender. Harry Potter because of the, the magic, <laughs> okay? Um, but it's like, I feel like you guys, the type of magic that is associated with you is like cosmic magic, like star magic. So, um, like Sirius, the, the star, the dual star Sirius, okay? Uh, the Sirius constant, like the Sirius... Um, um, star system i guess you could say the serious dual star system that like the syrians are acquaint, uh, acquainted or associated with magic right um aset or isis the goddess uh, uh from ancient egypt she was like the goddess of magic essentially as well and mysteries and all this stuff and she's also she's from sirius right so and I was getting like ancient Egyptian. It's interesting, right? Because in the previous group, funnily enough, I had uh, Roman and, and Greek deities coming through. But with you guys, I'm getting the examples of ancient Egyptian. So kind of like uh, Aset or Isis and Anubis or Anpu. So that is coming through. Like there is this great transformation energy that is within you guys where you guys can transmutate things and people and it's like people see you and they know that you can you can help change their lives for the better um i do think that some people could get jealous of you guys especially uh people who have an imbalanced feminine energy could get uh could feel kind of envious of you guys if they have an, a, an unhealthy trauma and imbalanced feminine energy that comes through um but i do feel like a lot of people can gravitate towards you guys you guys could get a lot of um you know because we're saying that the energy here could be a little bit more feminine leaning again this is genderless but it could be that some of you guys could have people who have a slightly more masculine leaning energies uh feeling very 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 attracted to you guys um because it's like, I think they can sense the magic. So a lot of people, I feel like kids could love you guys too because kids can sense this magic, this wonder about you. Uh, so that's one of the things that is incredibly beautiful about your soul. It's this, this essence and sense of magic and whimsicalness, like this whimsy and also this, this um, ability to create anything. It's like, it's like the world is your oyster. The world is your blank canvas and playground. And you guys can literally create anything. You guys are like the king of the insects with the dragonfly. <laughs> That's kind of a weird way of putting it. But yes, and the master of elements. And you guys have a, an air of surprise or mystery about you. I think the the there is an air of mystery about you guys because people can sense that celestial star magic -y energy but it's also kind of something that they're unfamiliar with or or you know it's coming from an unfamiliar place like the stars and the celestial quality of it right so people are unfamiliar with it and it draws them in more it's like a, a mystery and intrigue um yeah let me see what else 
and you guys are you guys do help people you help people you collaborate with people um it's like you guys are not greedy with this energy it's just innately who you are you guys come in like this cosmic mother energy wanting to help people help heal people you guys are healers but it's like you help heal people by helping them get exactly as you help them see that they deserve exactly what it is that they want in their lives right and people feel so uplifted and encouraged by you and they love being around you guys and it's so and and this stuff that we mentioned before with like that magic about you the the magic of your soul it, it feels like your soul is made up of like all like five element like it's not just it's not just like four elements that we know on earth like it feels like there's extra stuff that's making up your soul like extra celestial stuff you know <clears throat> so it feels like five elements to be completely honest like it feels like the four the earth fire water uh air but it also kind of feels like that middle bit there's like spiritual celestial like quality element that's coming through here cosmic in that sense but it also again kind of makes me think of like magic and i know in like magical rituals people have five elements i believe like they go by five elements the four that i mentioned and then there's like spirit or something like that at least that's what i recall from like back when i was in high school and i was reading some kind of a, a fictional book but it had to do with kind of magic -y things. I don't remember if it was paganism or Wicca or whatever, but that was in the book. Um, so don't quote me on that, but I, I think I've heard people talking about that before too. So again, there's this energy of magic. So it's just hilarious that you guys got spells. I mean, it makes sense. And you know what? I wish I said this in the last group, but the last group, they got a stone and... Um, they have a stone, they got a stone, but then the card on the bottom of the deck was like, um, uh, the gift of like the warmth, warmth of touch or gentle touch or something like that, the gentle touch. And it's just funny because a, a crystal, right? Or a stone is like a physical thing and theirs is a physical thing like touch. Um, whereas you guys have this magical thing and um you got a spell you know <laughs> but also on the bottom of the deck for you guys you have the throat chakra and the throat chakra it's funny because i remember i was mentioning it's like you guys are encanting it's like what you guys say comes into existence so uh, the throat chakra <laughs> uh and i'll read i'll read this one to you the throat chakra is centered on your throat this chakra is associated with communication and honesty when the throat chakra is blocked you cannot speak your truth which hinders your ability to connect and communicate with loved ones on a deeper level exercising your voice is a wonderful way to activate or clear the throat chakra find a comfortable private place to sit Begin singing or chanting a favorite song, letting your voice fill the space. Don't hold anything back and enjoy the freedom and bliss of self-expression. And then you have Pisces underneath that, which is kind of interesting because it adds to that cosmic stuff we were talking about. Um, but yes. Oh, and then I saw Green Aventurine, which is a manifestation stone as well of abundance in the heart and whatnot. But anyway... <sighs> Uh, I just think it's interesting, you know, that you guys have this incantation and magic kind of quality going on and then um, the throat chakra. And it's funny because we, when we were talking about Aset, uh, um, she is also associated with incantations, magic incantations, mystery um, and transmutation, I believe, too, or like transformation. Don't quote me on that last one, though. Uh, but yeah, so <clears throat> what I was saying, I feel like kids and animals could love you guys too, because they feel that like pure light and nurturing kind of joy of your soul that comes through and like this, this, en this enchanting, uh, uh, magic, magicalness. Okay. <laughs> and this celestial magicalness, like it, it's literally like, like, 
like wow that kind of quality you know and so I feel like kids could be really drawn to you and animals um you guys have a very uh like cosmic queen slash king vibe to you guys going on too um and I think that adds, you know, like the beauty of your soul literally gives you guys the wow factor in real life. <laughs> so uh, the beauty of your soul kind of shines through in like a regal way and it, it demands or kind of commands attention and like amazement and the wow factor coming through from people. So it's funny how for you guys, it's like, that's why I was saying you guys are in such a, a much better place than where you started from in regards to seeing the truth of your soul coming through, but you're still kind of working on it. Like you see it, but you're not 100% constantly always seeing it subconsciously and consciously completely integrated into your body. You know, that's what you guys are getting closer and closer to coming into that. And then once you guys can completely see it, your potential is com is going to be completely it's like un unimaginable <laughs> how unlimited it's going to be. It's like the moment, the moment those um, limiting beliefs from your ego and past and hurts and trauma, the moment those clear out, you guys are literally just an energetic ball of celestial, cosmic, magical, joyful, radiant, goddessy, god-like, creation <laughs> and potential energy okay so it's quite cool quite cool and let me see any final things that i'm getting here yeah and i feel like you guys are very caring like you're very caring and that's why i was saying there is a like a cosmic mother-esque vibe to you because you are very caring and I think you guys can have moments where you can crack a good joke here and there uh, as well to add to like a silly quality. So it's like there is still an element of play here, even though there is this poise of like a queen or a king, this regalness. So I think that's quite cool, too. It's like you guys are playing that motherly role, that cosmic mother role. But, like, you can also play with the kids, too, you know? And that adds to such an incredible allure. So that is the beauty of your soul. And uh, it, it definitely shines through for the world to see, okay? Even if you may not be getting a clear vision of it, uh, everybody else can see it, okay? And if you do encounter some of those jealous feminine energy types, just know, you guys, again, regardless of gender, just know that it's because um, they're coming from a mentality where they're afraid to be vulnerable and they're stuck in lack. And they look at you uh, an expression of God's creation energy and potential and cosmic creation and magic and all of that. And even though they can tap into those traits within themselves, if they've chose to like work on themselves and uh, do good by themselves, um, instead of going about doing that, they kind of just turn it into envy instead. And so you could trigger them and trigger those kinds of response, like a negative response in them. But just know it has literally nothing to do with you guys. It's just a self-judgment that they are projecting in a slightly hostile way towards you guys, okay? Um, and it's definitely not going to be everyone. Most people, I think, are going to like you guys. I just think it's like a couple here and there uh, feminine-like energies that are unhealthy that could get, they could feel threatened, threatened. Uh, and it's not it's not even threatened it's not that they feel threatened the only way that they feel threatened is in a sense of jealousy like you guys could be getting more attention than them okay um but yeah okay group three i was gonna say group two group three this was your reading um i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you understood because i tried to 
remind it a couple of times what, like what the beauty of the soul is but then I know the reading got carried into other things so I hope that uh, you guys were able to see like the kind of the the, the point of the topic of the video um, in addition to these other messages which were pretty coolio if you ask me I mean how cool is that being the cosmic uh, celestial fairy godmother <laughs> of the world of the cosmos um but yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed if you did i would appreciate if you gave this video a thumbs up uh and if you guys are curious about any of the other readings that will be coming out on my channel i am thinking in a couple of weeks to do another love letter uh video so if you want to be in the loop for when that happens uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel so that you guys can get notified. You don't have to, but it would be appreciated if you did, as it does help support the channel. Uh, also, if you guys are interested in a personal private reading, a custom crystal bracelet, or um, an affirmation song, you can reach out to me through the website in the description box below in the contacts page or through my email. Uh, and if you are interested in either tarot and oracle decks, uh, fine china <laughs> that is vintage or uh, fountain pens you can feel free to check out that ebay link that i have in the description periodically to see when i update new things because i've got a bunch of stuff that i want to be putting on there it's just going to take some time to get all those listings compiled and whatnot uh, but yeah group three that was your reading i'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below okay um i love hearing you guys it may take some time for me to respond and all of that but I do read your messages and um, I'm always so grateful when I get to to see what you guys have to say so thank you for being here and being a part of this community and channel and uh, giving your lovely input um, and yeah all right group three I hope you guys have a beautiful wonderful rest of your day I'm sending you guys so much love so much light and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, group three. Hey, group four. This is your group. If you chose the Twisby Eco creme and rose gold with the Ferris Wheel Press uh, buttered popcorn ink, isn't this such a beautiful pen? It makes me think of vanilla. <laughs> um, yes, even the nib is rose gold, okay? Uh, so let me put your pen to the side or the pen to the side and I'll sing the ringing I'll sing the ringing bowl well I haven't said that in a while I'll ring the singing bowl for you guys and oh oopsies oh I caught it okay cool beans cool beans all right let's start with your little channeled note and your note says you are unique and special in your own way don't let others thoughts define you because they can act like a limitation, even if they're good thoughts. You have boundless and limitless potential. Remember, anything is possible for you. I feel like a couple of you guys could have watched another group too <laughs> as well. So you guys could have watched another group uh, or picked more than one group. And this is the ink a little closer up. And you guys are the only group that got a little star here and a two dollop kind of dealio. Okay, and I'll set your message. Actually, I want to read your message one more time, okay? You are unique and... Sp oh, since oh, I just realized, two dollops two times. Okay, you are unique and special... Oh, you are unique and special in your own way. Don't let others' thoughts define you because they can act like a limitation, even if they're good thoughts. You have boundless and limitless potential. Remember, anything is possible for you. Okay, let's get into your cards. Oh my, oh me, oh my, oh me, oh me, oh my. Knight of Cups. <laughs> um, the Wheel of Fortune. Justice. The Three of Swords. The Page of Cups. Okay. The Five of Wands. Strength. Oh, so this card ended up coming up. The Ace of Cups. And the Hierophant. Hierophant. 
Rat, Cardinal, and Protect Your Relationship. The spell, uh, so this is a spell card. Um, I'm gonna, give me one second to skim this. Yeah, the spell cards, I'm not a big fan of of reading. I'm not against ritual or anything like that, but sometimes I feel like some of them could be a little, I don't know how I feel about it. So I'll just, I'll hold it up if you guys wanna pause the screen to read it, if you are curious. But I'm gonna be taking it as the message at the top, the words that come through. Also, something that I saw when I was shuffling for you guys was the crown chakra. So I think it's interesting, these two are purple-esque. And then another one that came out was um, Come To Me. That was another spell card, funnily enough. Actually, you guys are getting all the spell, spell cards. <laughs> uh, come To Me, but that came out in the last group. So because it came out so quickly and it was right after the last group, I put it back in and shuffled it. And on the bottom of the deck, we have Call In A Lover. So it's interesting because Come To Me, Call In, it's kind of a similar meaning. And all of them are going to be about love because this is the love deck that's what it's called so um so you don't have to take it romantically per se but yeah give me a moment you guys to see what i'm seeing yeah i definitely feel like a couple of you guys could have watched another group <laughs> um Or plan to watch another group after this. Um. Okay, this is kind of a little bit of a side note, but I feel like you guys are people's um, sign, okay? Like, you know, sometimes you want to do something, but you're just, you wait for a sign. You're like, okay, universe give me a sign. Uh, and then like, say for example, you want to go to Egypt, right? And it's just, it costs a certain amount of money or whatever. It's a big risk. It's a completely different country. If you're from some like other part of the world or whatever, you know, and you're like, I don't know. I don't know if I'm ready. I don't know if I should, I don't know, whatever. And then somebody, like one day you're just walking on the street and somebody walks by and they're talking about how they just came back from Egypt, right? And that person just acted as a synchronicity or a sign, right? Um, <clears throat> and I feel like you guys, when you come into people's lives, you are a sign. You are the sign. And I feel like God and the universe give you guys a lot of sign because you're one of those people that's kind of like, I believe you, thank you, but I would love to hear confirmation like five extra times, which could be one of the reasons why you guys chose more than one group. I don't know. <laughs> um. <coughs> okay, uh, also, let's see. Uh, give me a moment, guys. I also feel like your soul embodies truth and equality and balance. Of, of the scales of like the universe. So um, I think that comes through pretty strongly from you guys too. So I feel like that is one of the beauties of your soul is that that essence of, of balance and equality um, and like a strong moral of like what's right and what's wrong. And it's, it's like a fairness. There is a fairness. Again, it's like that sense of equality, that balance. Because you got your soul has a balance within it. And so it doesn't tip to one side or the other. It feels like a good balance. And it almost seems like because of that, when it comes to other people, you guys give them the benefit of the doubt. 
Um, or if somebody, for example, was arrested, you know, you don't look at them like, oh my goodness, I have to be afraid of this person because they were arrested. It's like you guys see this person as they are presenting themselves to you right now in the moment, not who they were in the past. You give them a fair chance. You you take into account exactly who they are right now and what's going on right now, right? There's this fairness, this balance. And um, I feel like that's something that is part of your soul. It's almost like your soul has had quite a few encounters in other lifetimes where... Um, you know, like the saying, we have to do things for the greater good, right? Like you would see big, like elder characters that are like wizard-like and whatnot that advise the youth that is trying to save the world that things have to happen for um, the greater good, right? And then the youths in those stories would be like, oh, but you're turning your back on the world and all of this stuff. But it's like at the same time, um, just because, and, and I know this may not sound like a nice thing to say, but sometimes if a sacrifice has to be made and it's like one person versus a hundred people, you know, some people are going to choose that one person that they care about over a hundred people, right? Or a lot of people could do that. And I feel like you guys, there's a level of being able to kind of detach from the situation emotionally or, yeah, like emotionally and to kind of come in at it from a more logical perspective and realize, like, as much as I love that one person, I'm sure even they would not want to live with the guilt of being saved and having a hundred lives sacrificed for them and stuff like that. You know, I know this is kind of a heavy topic and I, I didn't mean to kind of bring in such a heavy thing, but I think the whole point is that those are the things that make people uncomfortable to choose. And that those are the things that test our level of fairness and equality and our discernment, right? And they are uncomfortable things and they are things that are, uh, that put people in difficult situations and you guys it is innate in your soul and your soul has had many lifetimes in which it had to be part of that like for the greater good gang right because sometimes it is unfortunate but sometimes a sacrifice has to be made right in order for there to be a greater victory to change lives and generations it's kind of like if you guys are familiar with harry potter very ravenclaw-esque way of thinking um and that's why this would be somebody who could be part of a council you know and i feel like you guys could be really good counsels for people too <clears throat> because you're able to look at the situation in a detached kind of way um but I do feel like because of that, like you guys are fair. You guys are fair to people. You give them a chance like to uh, to present themselves in the way that they want to show up without giving them the preconceived notion of their past. Okay, even if you have that judgment in your mind and on an ego level, in your actions and in the way that you you choose to think after that that initial thought, is to give them the benefit of the doubt. Um, and I think really a lot of people admire that about you because they feel like you you can give them a sense of hope because they feel like somebody is willing to give them a chance to to show up how they want to be, not how, how they've been known to be um, in the past. Uh, that was a very lengthy way of saying all of that. So I hope that that came through <laughs> uh, in a way that you guys understood. Um, hmm. With the rat, it's interesting because it feels like you guys are, you guys have the, you know, there was, I feel like I saw the death card while I was shuffling and I didn't take it because I didn't want to take extra cards. But there is this, this sense of like, 
you guys are able to get into the dark places, into like little dark caverns and emerge out of them. Like you guys can step into the dark and come out with the light. Even cardinals, right? Cardinals are associated sometimes with with a message from someone beyond, um, <coughs> like beyond the physical plane, right? Like somebody who's passed is giving you a message uh, through a cardinal. Like I, I've heard that saying before. And then having the Hierophant here adds a lot of like uh, divine energy or um, working with God, I would say. And having a very big, you guys have a very big uh, energy as well, an aura and presence. You guys have a very big presence. It's almost like you guys, oh, I was going to say, make me think of like a cosmic dragon. And then I realized that this is like a sea dragon. <laughs> um, but there is like this energy of kind of like a, uh, balancing the scales but also a large presence kind of like a dragon even though your your thing is a little a, a rat here okay um it's still like i'm seeing that your presence is big just because you're calm doesn't mean that the presence isn't big and i feel like anyone who truly psychically come like tunes into your guys's essence may actually get a little bit afraid of you because the essence and the presence is huge okay it is literally energetically huge um to the scale that it's it's not something that most people can encounter energetically often okay like i'm talking about like you guys are packing from some kind of other spiritual existence in life or whatever it may be that's why i was comparing it to like a, a dragon energy but like a cosmic dragon like it's huge okay huge like a human in scale to what what this energy is is kind of like smaller than a grain of rice okay um yeah and i feel like you guys do have a very like there is a kindness here it's like you guys are good at um Yeah, you help people heal their wounds because you hold the space for them to feel like they can be accepted. You help people to feel accepted. Um, every group has, almost every group has had a way that they make people feel in like a positive way. And for you guys, it's acceptance. Um, yeah, because you give them, it's like when you tell them, I'm not going to judge you based off of your past and I'm not going to project a potential on you i'm just going to see you as you are and if you would like support i can give you that support uh and if you're living in the past i can help you to see what is the present and how you've grown and changed right and that and the, remember i mentioned something about counseling it's like i did i mention that in this group i don't even remember anymore but i do feel like that is kind of playing into all of it as well like that is again like this sense of justice this this morale this morale this balance is part of the beauty of your soul it's because you can see the the inherent worth and value of someone and you can see where they've been what they will become and who they are now you guys can see i i mentioned this in one other group so i don't know if you guys would have watched that other group too but <clears throat> um it's like you guys also know, <coughs> sorry, I I feel like it's dusty here. Like, I don't know. I, I just started coughing more during your group. Um, but you guys uh, just completely lost my train of thought. <laughs> um, I was just saying it one second, one second, one second. Uh, come on. Give me the words. Um, ah, yes. You guys, just because you see, like, where someone was, where they're going, and where they're at now, and you can foresee the their kind of future a bit as well, um, you also, because you have that, like, that greater good, that, like, that knowledge, okay? It's like an out of, out of, um, association kind of wisdom 
right? Like you can disassociate yourself to get the truth, the real answers. Uh, that's why this feels more like, uh, <laughs> again, another cosmic energy. I mean, uh, I do call in quite a cosmic crowd, uh, an intergalactic crowd. So yes, it, it does feel a little bit more of a, like, that's why I mentioned a cosmic dragon. Like, there are different kind of dragon celestial energies. Some are nice, some are not so much. This one feels very much like a balance scale. And yeah, so you guys also know be with that being able to weigh and assess, um, the next steps and what can be done and what can't be done you guys also happen to see and know a lot of things and not say it to people like you know when it's okay to share with someone and when it's not okay to share with someone like because of the whole greater good thing you know that like okay if i tell them this it's going to prevent them from doing it and then they're not going to learn the great lesson that this pain is going to uh, teach them right like say for example you see somebody that you love getting into a relationship with someone that they are convinced that they're in love with but you just know that this person is not good for them and that after a year of them being together this person is going to start showing their true colors and it can be emotionally abusive or whatever else but you can't like you know that it's not your place to tell this person don't be with this person because they're going to do this this and this instead what you do is you ask them are you really happy do you really truly feel like this is like you ask them questions to get confirmation from them to see if maybe there is a part of them that may experience some kind of doubt. And if they don't, then you're just like, OK, I, I hope I hope it works out for you, you know, knowing what the actual outcome is going to be, but letting them make their own decision, because, you know, that like clearly if there's no sense of doubt there, like they're this is what they're choosing and this is their path and this is their lesson and it's not your place to give them that other kind of advice, you know? So, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> let me see what else we've got going on here. Even here, like with justice and fairness and all this stuff, I also feel like you guys are peacemakers. You know what? Libra. Libra is... Uh, associated with justice and Libra is a peacemaker too right so it does feel like you guys are peacemakers like you can bring conflicts to a place of peace <laughs> um, if people are arguing you can kind of find a way to be like hey we can talk this out in a better way or no one is right and no one is wrong here because again you have that outside perspective you have the outside perspective with people that you care about whose situations you know but you also have it on like a grander scale as well even in your personal life like you guys are really good at that and that shines through and i think what it does is it leads a lot of people to be a little intimidated by you uh but also um it's quite motivational and like inspirational like it, 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 not that, what's the word? It causes, it brings about admiration, but also a little bit of fear <laughs> because it's intense. It's a kind of intense energy, right? Um, and not everyone can handle that intensity. You guys have, again, remember, <laughs> I just realized I saw this there. Remember I mentioned the celestial dragon? So we do have a sea serpent here, but we also have this, this uh, griffin or whatever it is. Um, <clears throat> but it's kind of giving off a little bit of a dragon-esque vibe with the wings and stuff and the feet kind of little, I think, next to each other. They're both purple, too. Uh, but it's the Hierophant, which is like the messenger of God, you know, and something about this is making me think of a big presence, too. And look at how much space this dragon or sea serpent takes up in this card. It literally fills up multiple areas of this card, correct? So... That was a weird way of saying it, correct? Yeah. Um, and even here, the strength card, this line is like stretching his hands, right? He's taking up space. Here, the Hierophant card is like, I have a grand presence. And it's it's a little serious because you have to handle serious topics, serious emotions, serious wounds, right? When you're helping people in that regard or when you're talking to people in that regard. And so again, it can be, kind, it can, it can be considered uh, a little... Um, intimidating to some people there is a sense of uh, 
authority that you guys evoke or that people feel uh, emanating from you. Um, and I think that's another reason, right? It's like you go to a court. A court is the government. It's a sense of authority. The authoritative, authority, authoritative figure is making the overall unbiased judgment or assessment and then passing the ruling judgment, right? Based off of evidence and facts and they go in unbiased even if they know so i mean that's the ideal right that's how it's supposed to be without corruption and whatever but that's what i'm trying to say right like people don't go to court necessarily feeling super excited and happy and like unafraid i think a lot of people could feel quite nervous if they have to be um in court because they're like are the, is this person going to see my perspective? Are they going to side with the other person? You know, there's a lot to be thinking about. So there is a sense of intimidation, you know, like this person has the power over your life kind of, and you guys have that vibe because again, you have such a large presence and I don't think you guys know it yet. And yeah, like don't let others thoughts define you, right? Because people can say a bunch of stuff about you guys, even if it's good stuff, but it's still just one aspect of you. You guys, with such a large presence, there are so many facets to you. So the biggest thing, it's like, it's interesting because your soul being so knowledgeable and intellectual uh, and aware, right? Because it's, it's, um, because it can see the bigger picture, right? Can disassociate and pull out and see the bigger picture for the greater good and all. Um, it's just funny to think that such a large soul can also consider itself not as significant. You know, it's like, well, I'm just another player in the game. And though that's true, I feel like on an, on an earth level, it's like you guys teeter tatter between, between, yeah, that like feeling of sign like feeling like, yes, I've got this power, but then also kind of like feeling less significant. Significant doesn't feel like the right word, but just for lack of a better term for now, okay? Yeah. Um, and with protect your relationship, again, I kind of feel like there is this essence of yeah, I, I do feel like people listen to you guys, though that may not have always been the case. I feel like people have probably listened to you in general, but there could have been people who really needed to listen to you that you guys really needed to help, which could have been one of the reasons why you have this grander way of perceiving and understanding things in this incarnation. Um, you know, they may not have necessarily listened to you guys, but I feel like your voice has, it carries weight. Your words carry weight. What you guys say carries weight. People value your opinion because they know that your opinion, um, even if you have your own opinion, you're still giving the benefit of the doubt. You're still sharing something that is is not um, influencing others. You know, you give your opinion, but then you also say, "Well, that's just my opinion because of my own personal beliefs." But this also is has a benefit and this also has a benefit and some people could say that this benefit is actually better you know and so because you say it like that somebody is going to feel like well they're not pressure like they're not going to be influenced to choose what you chose they're gonna you're giving them the option to make that decision right just like we were talking about earlier with asking those questions like are you sure like are you happy are you really happy you know and you're giving them a chance you're giving them the opportunity to see, like, are they in a place where they would be willing to take advice? Or is this part of their life's path that I just kind of have? Because I can't just give them my advice involuntarily, you know? They've got to give me an in to see that it's okay for me to give them guidance or advice. But if not, then they just have to go through what they've got to go through, you know? And I'll be here if they need to talk, when if I'm available or whatever, right? So, Yeah. I'm getting like such a logical, mind-heavy kind of energy with you guys. Yeah. Um, and with protect your relationship, I think it's interesting because it almost feels like this kind of... 
with it's just making me think of like protection in general and i feel like it's kind of a reminder for you guys to protect yourselves make sure that you check in to see if you feel like protected or if you feel safe because even though you've got this huge larger than life presence there still feels to be like some kind of energetic muddle going on in your energy field um like it just feels a little muddied and it's not you guys it's it seems more like ex i don't know i don't even know like almost like you guys are passing through funk and so because of that like you know the windshield wipers can only clean the front not the sides of the car you're gonna have to go through a car wash so you guys are kind of currently going through the funk and then you can clean the car after but um yeah that's why they're saying protection just to keep your energy separate like even with the strength card you see it's like he's put up these little borders like you cannot come past this space this is my energy that i'm keeping in touch with myself okay so yeah just a little heads up and also here right it's about your message was about other people's influence right uh not letting other people's influence define you uh, and create boundaries for you there's a lot of even here this is like a boundary but this is a self-created boundary for protection right so very interesting very interesting you guys have a little bit more mystery going on in your group and the energy that I'm feeling also, I think, has to do with, like, the, the dragon, that that dragon energy that was coming through before, that cosmic dragon. Because it doesn't feel, oh, oh my gosh, holy cow, that just scared the shish kebabs out of me. Holy moly guacamole. I just saw something. Something that's not there, but, you know, like, I, I saw it and I was, and it just moved quickly and, I, oh, okay. Everything's okay. It's fine. <laughs> um, Could have just been the light or whatever uh all's good all's well but yes um this this reading has gone this this uh video is a lot longer than i thought it was going to be but i hope you guys got what i was trying to say yes the, that cosmic dragon i was mentioning it's like because the energy is just it's not good and it's not bad it's literally all middle it doesn't feel warm and cozy you know it's just kind of, but it doesn't feel completely cold either. It just feels like a logical mind or it feels more like detached. So I think that's kind of also the, the coolness that I was picking up, which is why the energy feels kind of a little odd. I'm not saying you guys give off that vibe to other people. I'm just saying because we were tapping into that to get more insight about like where this kind of, justice stuff that i mentioned earlier was coming from for you guys but yeah all right group four that was your reading <laughs> uh i hope i hope it was okay you guys um i feel like i got a little sidetracked somewhere i don't know i feel a little confused at some point here i mean stuff was making sense but i don't know it's it felt like my mind and mouth were not uh collaborating <laughs> as well as they could be so if you guys did have another group in mind maybe click on that too if you felt like this was uh this was not enough uh but for those of you who did feel like yeah you know what milka this made sense or i've always felt a certain type of way or i thought it was a flaw but thank you for showing me that i'm not because the thing is it's not that you guys um don't care right because some of you guys may feel like that you don't have an emotional attachment to things and that could be a problem because you're like why why don't i feel things why don't i care and it's like it's not that you don't care and it's not that you don't feel things it's just you guys it, think of it as a gift right um you guys just don't have that attachment and you know what you don't need to have attachment um it could feel like you're missing out because other people are feeling that way or expressing their relationships in that way but everyone is different and those people eventually have to learn to detach, right? So it's not that you guys are being cold, for those of you who this message is for. It's not that you guys are being cold or whatever. It's just, you know, there's a chance that maybe you actually have, like, a your moon in either an air sign, so, like, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, or have it in either the third 
um, seventh or eleventh house, okay, or have strong aspects to your moon from those air signs or air houses and planets, because <clears throat> um, usually when somebody has their moon in like an air sign, there is a little bit more emotional detachment um, to certain things. You know, like it's it's easier to yeah to just not be as affected and. I find that like those people tend to think is something wrong with me like why is it that I don't care like I I genuinely don't feel affected by the fact that they said that or that they did this again or whatever it may be um I just know that 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 could be why okay but yeah group four that I keep wanting to call you guys group three but I also feel like there's another <laughs> um like you guys could have chosen another group as well so but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed your video or your reading. <laughs> yeah, I'm clearly done for the day because my mouth is not compute. It's not cooperating. <laughs> uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, I would appreciate if you would give this video a thumbs up. Um, and if you are not already subscribed to my channel, that's cool. But I am planning to do another um, love letter reading, hopefully within the next like few weeks. Uh, so if you want to be updated on when that comes out, uh, if you click on the subscribe button, it should give you a notification of when that happens. But again, you don't have to do that if you don't want to. It would just be appreciated if you did. Uh, also, if you guys are interested in a personal private reading, a custom crystal bracelet, or a custom affirmation song, uh, feel free to reach out to me either through the contacts page on my website or through my email in the description box below. And for any of you who are interested in fine china, that is vintage, okay, or uh, tarot and oracle decks, or possibly even fountain pens, um, you can feel free to check out that eBay link in my description box, uh, or like check it, refresh it every once in a while, as I will start putting up uh, listings there of the things that I would like to rehome. Um, so if you guys are interested in checking that out, just check it out once in a while because uh, it's going to take some time for me to put up all those listings because it's kind of a lot of stuff and it takes energy and time and all that. But yeah, group four, thank you for tuning in. Thank you guys for being here as always for those of you who are, uh, repeat viewers and, or like viewers that have come again. And, um, yeah, I'm sending you guys so much love, so much light. And I hope you guys have a very beautiful and blessed day. Okay, group four? I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.